Floresville. San Antonio's Sports Center. The Sweet 16 was rough on the higher seeds as upsets were plenty. Clemson upset Arizona 77-72. UConn did roll past San Diego State. Alabama took down North Carolina and Illinois beat Iowa State. The Spurs get busy again. They host the Knicks tonight at the Frost Bank Center at 7 o'clock tip. How good do you want to be? From play one to the last play, we fight. Today's about opportunity and character. We got a chance to come out here and play football. It's a blessing. Hey, every season is full of defining moments. Let's make this day a defining moment for us in our quest. Let's go, baby. This is the morning huddle on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star with Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, RJ Ochoa. Now, here are the guys. Hey, gather around. We got a whole bunch to talk about. It is the morning huddle comprised of RJ Ochoa as he manages the editing of Blogging the Boys and joins us. I'm Rob Thompson. On the other side of the double pane, that's Easy E Edwin Hafner. We welcome you to Good Friday. We endeavored to make it a great radio show. Thanks for being with us today. Um, I, I I come to you this morning, RJ. When, you know when you get a setup that it finally works. You know you 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 used to like putting like your computer together and and you're looking for the feng shui or you're like you're in the kitchen. You know I, I reach right and I know exactly where the spatula is. I reach left. That's where the spices are. I don't have to look. I finally reached the zen of my office, my 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 broadcast thing. I've got my my screen set. I think Edwin can attest that I, I I have pretty good setup now. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty down with what I got put together here. Looking good. You're a bit Edwin? high maintenance. No, in it, this world. This is the kind of thing that uh, you know just it makes me happy. It's when when I, when I feel buttoned up, when I when I I'm feel happy. like everything's self actualized and I'm all there. So Friday, this is gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one, I'm despite happy for the fact. You that uh, most of us only have about four hours of sleep. Anybody listening right now uh, who uh, watched any of the, or all of the basketball that we watched last night, it was a late one, but uh, a good one, I guess. It was an incredible day. Of were, were they great games or just close games? They were great choke jobs is what they were. Yeah, so they weren't great <laughs> games, but it was, they were close games endeavored by some really some weird collapses. And, and uh, although, uh, I, I enjoyed all evening long. All of our brackets are somewhat screwed. I don't know anybody who came out of last night unscathed. Uh, but um, it's not even Bijan. I, I've checked. There were three that were. I think Bijan's long out of the uh, unblemished part of this world. But there were three. I think uh, we'll see. I haven't looked at them. I know mine kind of suffered. Uh, Spurs are busy again tonight. They get the uh, Knicks back in. Uh, Jalen Brunson and the road crew of the Knicks. The Knicks have something to prove. Do the Spurs have the backbone to stop them? Uh, we'll talk about it. Ah. Uh, yeah. the, I, I love being on the curve of a wave, you know, being able to ride something because we were the first one there, paddled out, got on the wave. I say that as a guy who's only surfed twice in his life, but I feel like I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, the Dak Prescott salary cap scenarios that are now floating around. Do all your friends or anybody that you know who doesn't have the good sense or taste to listen to us, does everybody else that you run into, do they feel like, do you feel like they're late to the party? Like, man, we knew this. We've been talking uh, about I, this for weeks. I think the majority of people think that they are on the wave with us. Um, so the majority of people feel like they're Pat Green, so to speak. Um, but that was done. a lot of people hold this, my, like a lot of people, one of my biggest pet peeves in life, and I'm not sure if you know this, is when people present a really, really, really popular idea as their own, as it They're as a first. unique opinion, right? Now, yeah, like, man, you know, Badass. I don't know, I, I just, I, I think they're tanking, you know, I just, I, I think, I, I think don't that think, they're, yeah, uh, no, okay. So, I, given that, do you feel yes. like we were ahead of the cur curve? Because I saw the Todd Archer thing, and I'm like, yes, we, we. Why is everybody think, just now talking about this? We've been saying this for weeks. I think that we understand the temperature of what is happening. I think the I think their tanking take is misguided and incorrect and easy to get to based on what is happening here. And I think that, as we've talked about throughout this whole process, to say they're tanking is giving them too much of a benefit of the doubt. 
it's a, it's presuming that they have a, applied even a base level of thought to this when they clearly have it. They just have no idea what they're doing. That, that's that's what's going on here. Um, so that's where we're at. But it is nice to have been you know talking about this, and, and it feels like we've kind of hit the nail on the head, so to speak. But um, but yeah. Welcome to Purgatory. It sucks here. This is the bad place. <laughs> and, and it seems to be never ending. Uh, we'll look forward to the draft. You know, it's four, four weeks away. We're almost there. Hey, oh, that means hey, four weeks oh. from today, there will be a new member of the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, hey, like oh. uh, wow. Xavier Worthy, wide receiver for the University of, University of Texas Longhorn. What is your problem? Seriously, what is, what is your problem? Why are you the way that you are? I was Who, built is, this way. I, I, it, ain't, it ain't anybody's fault but mine. Um, did you watch uh, any of opening day at all yesterday? Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't watch any of it. I, I'll be real honest. I, I never do. It is not I, high on my priority list. I'm not a diehard fan of a team. I'm a fan of the sport. I don't really own a whole lot of memories at a baseball park. So it's just not something that's primary in my, my life. I get it. I certainly, I'm glad everybody enjoyed it. It looked like a lot of fun. I, I saw the scores. Saw the Rangers do what the Rangers did. That was cool. Uh, I uh, I did something stumbled. that I uh-huh. I normally you know poo poo on Don't and well I normally do but I'm not right now so I had tweeted a few weeks back that I wanted to join a fantasy baseball league because oh. I don't have enough friends who want to do it with me. Do you have and the was, time, dude? Oh, you, the I, commitment I, I to the rotisserie are, baseball life is far more than I'm capable of. So I did it last year oh. and I had found a random league and it was kind of fun but I wanted to do it a little bit differently and I wanted to do it on um you know company man here so to speak i wanted to do it on espn's platform not on uh did it on on a competitor last year which competitor and yahoo yahoo okay. yeah uh, yahoo's, yeah yahoo's, got, yahoo's clunky this. i've never been a fan yeah I'm, I'm not a fan so i wanted to do it i wanted to do it on espn's so i tweeted about it and i had some people who are interested uh my oldest friend in the world jd was interested okay great but we're only two dudes and um i had a listener i had a follower his name is bennett uh he's a fan of of my cowboys work he and his buddies whipped up a league. And uh, so it took a little bit, and we did our draft last night. Uh-huh. So we did our draft like while games were going on. I'm normally against that kind of logic and that yeah. idea. But at least you're I, you know, drafting so- a healthy roster. You know, at least exactly. you're starting fresh. So uh, I assembled my fantasy baseball team last night. It well, I'm glad. Now you have – it's like uh, – you know, I, I never had to do it in my school because we had enough of the real-life stuff going on, but, like, you are suddenly been assigned a fake baby that you have to keep alive for the um, next nine months. That's Zach you know, and Kelly with, with the egg. Well, yeah, we had – at our high school, we just had babies. <laughs> they're, oh, they're, oh. We didn't have to – we didn't have the fake ones. We had guys walking around with them. Uh, but the, uh, the, the thought of, yes, you, you got a baby. For the next nine months, you'll be dragging that thing around no matter where you go every day. That thing is – what were those little st- – no, it's not the baby because that's a terrible way to do it. Remember those little Tamagotchi things that you had yeah. to feed? That's what you've yeah, done. Yeah, you had to you've feed and you had to, to shake. Yes. You, you had to walk. Yeah. Rotisserie or you, fantasy You know baseball. what a Tamagotchi is. I had two boys, man. I had to keep those Tamagotchis alive. Or I'd have one, you know, like I'd have to – when one died, which we lost a few. We lost a, a few good Tamagotchi wow. out there. Um. So I got to be the one taking care of those damn things. Wow. So you got yourself a Tamagotchi. Feed and water appropriately on a regular basis. Do you want to know who my first pick was? No, I, I really don't care at all. That's really hurtful. It's, <laughs> no I mean, one I feel cares like... about your fantasy football team or your brackets. We don't. It's my fantasy baseball team. Oh, not baseball, my fantasy football I'm team. Just, uh, okay, Garrett Cole. Uh, no, what on earth? You deserve to have walked around with Tamagotchis. No, it was Jordan Alvarez. Jordan! Uh, well, sorry. So, at what times, point did you draft him? Uh, I think I had an eighth pick. Okay. So, yeah, it worked out nicely for me. So far, and, so good. Uh, I'm excited. I'm leading my weekly matchup 8 2 to 2. So, uh, congrats to me. Uh, I want you to give me an example of the stat line that you need to fill for your league. On a daily, what do you what do you chase? So, so for anyone who hasn't played fantasy baseball, uh, but before. some have more, some have less. I, I'm just curious how deep this league goes as far as your daily output that you're chasing. You're effectively chasing categories. Yes. So, you, so, you so I want to know the different team. categories that you're. Yeah, there so, can be a lot. So, in terms of categories, from a hitting standpoint, 
We've got uh, runs. We've got uh, home runs, okay. R- RBIs, there. stolen bases, I'm with you. average, and okay. OPS. Okay, so, so you're pretty okay. You're 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 not too in the weeds, right? Now, from a pitching standpoint, you've got innings pitched, which is unique. I didn't do that last yeah. year, so you do need a kind you're of work. Already push. getting too much workish. Strikeouts, wins, saves, ERA, and your WHIP. So, I'm a little worried about my pitching, what? but no, you no, know, no, no war, but a WHIP. No war, but a whip. Just... When was the last time you whipped? <laughs> Fair question. <laughs> I don't know. What about what was uh, the last time you uh, named you know, it? It's funny. When was the last um, time you did the jerk? When was the last time you soldier boy? Um, last wedding. Uh, is that? Are we at a place where that's a wedding song now? No, not quite. I don't think so. We're yeah, still on my, was... my, my side. It, the, we get a little crazy. We do a little electric slide. That's about as as nuts as the. You don't uh, Cupid shuffle. Humps. Oh, th- that's all the Cupid start shuffle electric slide. They kind of roll together. You get one, then you get the other. So yeah, that's about as nuts as the uh, the old Thompson clan will ever get. I, I will offer this. Um, this was a while, a few years back. You know the song "Rock Steady," kind of an old 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 throwback jam. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> carry sure. on, RJ. Yes. So the song came on, and I thought I'm about to go. I, I just started dating my wife. And I thought, and my uh, my cousin, you know, was on the dance floor. So I said, let me let me go because it was a family wedding. I said, like, let me go show off with my family and, and impress, you know, this girl. And it worked out. But um, so I kind of went all out, and I was exhausted. Like I, I was, I literally came off the dance floor and came, and I had to be nursed. You know, I was, I was, I went too hard. You're not you, one you of those guys, that. are you? It was really embarrassing. It you was know, a real tough scene. Uh, I remember a day when he's opening minutes. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, I thought you know. I'd go there. The whole line dancing kind of scene thing. is something that escapes me in an entirely different way. But that's uh, that's for another show and hey, another time. We're going to need an update, by the way, Rob. I don't care about your fantasy team, but I do care about your bracket because I need to know how many Elite Eight teams you uh, have. It's getting tight. We're going to have to have a good night tonight because everybody suffered. Your brackets took a little crack last night, I assume. UConn carried through, but if you had the favorites, you were due. So was I. We're crying a little bit. Yeah, we're looking toward the tournament coming up. We're also looking around the opening day. It was a fun day, though there was a cloud over it, and we never talked about it. Quiet on the Otani front. What's happened since? And, of course, the Dallas Cowboy talk continues. But we're going to look real close at New York. Was there a fight? Was there a tussle between the owner and the uh, uh, coach of the uh, New York Jets. No, there wasn't. And a statement was made saying such things. Uh, lots to get into today, and it won't be fun unless you're with us. So here are your duties. Uh, make sure you are watching us. And if you can't, thanks for listening. But if you can, grab your device, go to the YouTube feed that we call San Antonio Sports Star. We are the Morning Hodel. Make sure you are uh, indeed a subscribe, put a thumb on it, and uh, like it today. That way you get all the updates and all the things that are appropriate. Um, I've got stuff to give away. And I, what are we going to give away today, Edwin? Let's uh, let's. We have Godzilla, Godzilla, Valera Open and Corn. Oh, we've got it all. So what I want to do is uh, congratulate my morning crew and offer them as I did the other day. Uh, we're going to come back on the other side of this break, and as soon as you hear me, I'm going to give our morning uh, our our morning brigade the opportunity to win one of our big prizes. One of the top three. There'll be a door for you. You got to choose the door one, two, or three, uh, and uh, you'll get the appropriate prize. I'm going to play. Uh, uh, game show and RJ will be your Monty Hall behind the green door Perfect. holding on. Hey, coming back. Let's talk about the uh, tournament last night. Lots of upsets. So let's see if it maintains tonight. It's the sweet 16 and man, was it sweet. We'll be right back. It is the morning huddle right here on morning four one San Antonio sports star. Nothing beats March madness. The pure sound of a swish, the rattle of a slam dunk, the fans on their feet for the big moments. And the action just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here. On 94.1, San Antonio Sports Star and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. The John Clay Wolf Show. Here's what's going on in the Wolf Pack. Baba, we appreciate you. Thanks, man. Gigi doesn't. She said, <laughs> no, you left me hanging, but whatever. I still love you. And I was there first. She's talking about the show meeting you had yesterday. Oh. She's the only one that showed up. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sitting there like, yeah, guys, I'm three minutes early. Right. Like, what the heck? That was 50 to 1 odds in Vegas. <laughs> the John Clay Wolf Show. 
Catch the John Clay Wolf Show, Saturdays, 9 a.m. to noon, right here on San Antonio Sports Star. The Golf Club of Texas has some of the best course conditions with the friendliest staff. The golf is great. They have lighted driving range and practice area. While it feels like a country club, it's not a private club. It's open to the public, so bring the family into the Tin Cup Bar, the nicest sit-down restaurant in that area of San Antonio, specializing in Texas food, wine, and spirits. For golf or dinner, go to the Golf Club of Texas off Highway 90, online at golfclubtexas.com. The Golf Club of Texas, the friendliest golf course in Texas. This year, wouldn't it be great to stop dealing with thin, brittle, shedding hair and instead have the thick, healthy, gorgeous hair you've always wanted? Well, now you can by using Hair Volume from New Nordic. Hair Volume is the all-natural solution trusted by millions of women around the world to say goodbye to thin, brittle, shedding hair. Look for Hair Volume at your local Walgreens and CVS or online at Amazon.com or NewNordicUSA.com. Go to NewNordicUSA.com, Amazon, or ask for Hair Volume at your local Walgreens or CVS. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on Carol. She's more focused on hitting a high note than the car in front of her. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. Not available in Alaska or California. Subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors, which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows Allstate to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates North Park, Illinois. To get out of jail fast by calling AA Best Bail Bonds 210 225 2121. Text bail to 474747 or online at mybestbailbonds.com. You don't have to call attorneys or anybody else. Don't be forced into a PR bond. If the jail offers you one, make sure you understand the conditions before accepting it. AA Best Bail Bonds, nobody beats their price to have payment plans. Call 210 225 2121 or mybestbailbonds.com. License number 149. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-382-4752 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-382-4752. That's 800-382-4752. What do you have to lose? Call 800-382-4752. Again, 800-382-4752. Fellow Americans, Jason Hansen here. As a former CIA officer, I know the warning signs of financial threats better than most. You've likely seen worrying headlines about market instability, soaring debt, election violence, and monetary manipulation, all putting your retirement at risk. That's why I strongly recommend diversifying into physical gold with Advantage Gold, a five-star rated U.S. gold company. I've been a satisfied client for years and trust them completely. Their customer service is unmatched and they educate on why gold helps safeguard against dollar devaluation. Advantage Gold makes it easy to use your existing retirement account to purchase gold and take advantage of little known tax benefits. Call 800-741-GOLD now and tell them that Jason Hansen sent you. They'll send you a free 2024 gold investing kit with my exclusive economic briefing for 2024. Don't wait. Call 800-741-G-O-L-D. Hard work and dreams lead to success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. Make filing taxes a walk in the park because we'll pre-fill your info for you so you can file quickly and confidently. Winner! Get the peace of mind that comes with expert help. Let's go! Be empowered by TurboTax means you're backed by the leading tax preparer. And we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. File your taxes on Intuit Credit Karma today. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at TextPlan.us. Texting rules for recurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply. Stop. Opt out. Guys, let's get real about your hair loss. 
How long have you been wearing a hat, hiding thinning hair, or a rapidly growing bald spot? Just stop it. You're not a 12-year-old little leaguer. You're a grown man. It's time to take action. Let the hat go and get your real hair back permanently with Bosley. You heard that right. Bosley, America's number one hair restoration experts, can give you your real hair back permanently. And right now, Bosley is giving away an absolutely free information kit and a free gift card to everyone that texts more to 200-300. Plus, text right now and get a link to this month's incredible deals. Join the millions of people who come to Bosley and see just how awesome your hair could look. Text MORE to 200-300 for your absolutely free information kit and a free $250 gift card off, plus a special link to incredible deals. Text MORE to 200-300 now. Text MORE to 200-300. San Antonio is Aggie country. This is Andrew Monaco, and you're listening to the home of the Aggies. 94.1 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Hey, gather around. It's the huddle. We call it the morning huddle. That's RJ. I'm Rob. We're glad you're with us this morning. If you're sitting in Brackenridge Park chained to a barbecue pit, we're glad you're with us. Uh, good Friday heading into a uh, Easter weekend in San Antonio. It is. A, it's in the air. I'm uh, going to be cooking this weekend. I did a pork butt yesterday, just kind of dry run. Just kind of get things going. It's one of the four majors. You know what, Rob? You look good today. Uh, as I, you, you know, know what, Rob? you know, so I get a, you, I got a, you, I got a haircut. Look, look, look you look. look handsome. That's what I want to say. You look handsome. Yeah, everyone should tell their friend, a friend, they look handsome. You well, look thank handsome. you, and I, I appreciate. It. In fact, I was going to compliment you on your your oh. polo. It is an extraordinary. That is that's cool. That looks like a Christmas or a birthday gift. It um, was neither. So really? Did you pick you were- that out yourself? I did. Actually, my wife was like, this is really nice. See, there you go. I I didn't, I I know you. What, what exactly is the pattern, but underneath and around the spur? Um, it's just a bunch of like dots. I would, I would all, I would offer almost, um, like olive branches. Uh, See, I hope uh, olive branches, uh, like, like from an olive tree. You know what I'm saying? So it's like like little leaves. Yeah. Who's the manufacturer? See, I'm trying to paint the picture that would force people to go look at what you're you're wearing because it's a Spurs polo that I haven't seen before, and it's Antigua appropriate. Made this. What? How long? They uh, they custom tailored it to uh, my perfectly chiseled body, and uh, and that's, that's why, why it, it doesn't really it. fit. Exactly. So, uh, <laughs> it went kind of south, like my brackets last night. But you know, everybody's brackets got screwed last night. I I don't know. I, I did. I cut the mullet vents. Well, there's still some of it there, and in fact. I, my, uh, the, the, the great girl at uh, super great, wonderful clips, um, super great, wonderful clips. Okay. Um, she did not want, she was kind of upset. She goes, she asked me twice. You sure? Oh, you were like, cause this, yeah. this is like two and a half inches. It's like my, uh, when I got my hair buzzed that one time and I asked for, uh, a one on top and a five on the sides. And he was like, are you sure? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute. So, um, Wow. So yeah, uh, did, she, I was shorn. Did she foresee Alabama shocking? You? She did not. Uh, while the wow. there were upsets and all kinds of stuff last night, this was a. Uh, you know, we had. Is it an upset when you when anybody four up beats a, a one? I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, I know by seed, but there um, these were pretty damn close. Either any of these teams could have been flipped if it was a different committee. So that being said, yes, there were seed upsets. I will say the surprise of the night was Illinois. The uh, expectation of the night was UConn. Um, I don't know how huge it was for Bama to beat North Carolina. It was big. Uh, It's turned that the ACC was pretty damn good this year. So I think that it proved how good Alabama is. If you're a one seed and you don't reach at least the elite eight, it's a failure. Really? You, you in have your to, mind? You I think win. Sweet 16 is a success. Um, excuse me. Is a success. Blah, I can't get it out. A success regardless of your seed. No, you got to you gotta win three games. If you're hmm. a one seed, you have to. You're hardcore. Uh, and, and you're proving that you were never worth being a one seed to begin with. So uh, pretty embarrassing day for UNC. It'd be a great weekend for all the Blue Devils if Duke manages to not only shock Houston tonight, but... Uh, on the heels, uh, no pun intended, uh, of North Carolina faltering. I don't know that it's quite the level of shame for Arizona to lose, but <sighs> at least UNC was in their game. 
I mean, I, I felt so stupid, you know, watching this, these Wildcats. I, I thought, man, you guys aren't even at all in this. Uh, Clemson really took it to them. And by the way, with, with that, Rob, goes uh, into the night, Pac-12 basketball, as we have known. It, it is done. Uh, lower the flag. The, the, oh, the war is over. And what an appropriate way to f- bow out. Arizona collapsing on its way. Uh, that to was Clemson. Oh, the my Clemson God. Killed the Pac-12. It doesn't what? matter the uniform. It doesn't matter the coach. It doesn't matter the player. Michael Board, you listening? It matters. It's the Arizona. It just said Shay should say underneath choke. That just every year, year after year, choke. Now here's what's going to happen. Of course, they're going to get into the Big Twelve in this, and they're going to be phenomenal next year. But in the Pac-12, for whatever reason, it's been a long, long drive period. You think Cowboy fans are suffering? Arizona, man, you guys just choke. Consist, just it. It is year after year consistency. I appreciate that. So, uh, by the way, Marco notes in the brigade bar that you warned us about Arizona ruining the bracket. But, I mean, I'm not taking away from you, but to your point, th- there is a little bit of, like, I'm going to predict the team that always fails to fail. Well, you know I know, I mean? like but th- they you know, are the, the walking reason why these things exist. They just do. So, uh, it was re- determined, not revealed, but determined, uh, what with the these two games that we're talking about specifically, that one of Alabama or Clemson, because they're facing off in the uh, in the Elite Eight here, that one of them will reach their first Final Four ever. I think the biggest winners of Thursday's game, I was going to say Friday, biggest winners were Alabama, because now they don't have to go through Arizona. This was a great it really game was. for Alabama it basketball. Really was. And, and who the fuck? UTSA's future coach. We get a matchup of a, a previous national champion uh, game, but it was not in on a court. It was on a field. The that, that's true. Can you say, we got okay. Alabama Clemson and an Elite Eight yeah, game. Somebody, that's so, a that's a weird matchup, man. Somebody's waking up from a, a coma going, Alabama and Clemson are playing? <laughs> All right. Basketball game? That's Let's, that's how things are now. Oh, it's basketball. Never mind. It's, it's on a Friday, or a, uh, I guess it's on Saturday. But you know, wow. Alabama and Clemson on a Saturday? Sign me up. It's gonna happen. Uh we'll catch all your games tonight. We'll have all your sweet 16 coverage. Live here on uh, 941. Uh, we'll get the party started at uh, six o'clock and carry you all the way through the tonight's games. And last night was, it felt kind of like an hors d'oeuvre, hors divorce. Um, tonight, the matchups, it's one after the other. But before we go there, I'm real quick, I'm going to pin a low key. I, I've heard Kenny the Jet kind of parse. There's underdogs and there's Cinderella. I don't know how he defined the two. Okay. Illinois. Look out. No. Uh, uh, let me tell you, Illinois, look out. Rob, that Rob. team is, they have five guys on the court and seven guys total that can They're... all get a bucket. Everybody on those squads can get a bucket. And they play that old lumberjack, uh, hard nose. It's not a hard nose. It's just brutal defense. Rob, you just leave their games. Do. I know. They're playing the best team going. But if there's an underdog out there that you go, the matchup, it's going to be interesting because UConn is stomping people, just curb Rob, stomping people. But Illinois this, beat the toughest team other than Houston in the tournament. San Diego State was fun. Don't get me oh, wrong. Oh, man, they just curb stomp. <laughs> but even a- were, were they really fun? They beat UAB and Yale. Well, that yeah, is I mean, a Final like, Four team that brought a lot of the dudes back. That's a rough and tumble San Diego State team. That's what they I'm, are. They did what they do, and uh, I'm not they got that, out. But they got out beat. That UConn's uh, uh, they should win, but of all the underdogs going into the weekend, man, Illinois looks like a team that not only could upset in against UConn the but carry it underdog. through. They are no way. No, just uh, beware. The, Hurley going to have to wash those draws. That you know, you broke it with the Iron Eagle st- uh, interview yesterday. I had not heard this story about uh, Coach Hurley having to travel with a portable washing machine to wash his unders to make sure he's wearing the exact same thing because of his. Um, well, he's not superstitious. He's just no, he, a little he, stitious. No, 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 no. He's very like what's more than superstitious. He's <laughs> he has to like I was reading about uh, more of his superstitions. He has a lot of them. 
Um, and I don't, but I don't understand why you would need a portable washing machine. That's what I was talking to Iron Eagle about, obviously. Like, yeah, and you broke the story about the the fact that his wife brings that in there. I did not why know that. Why couldn't you just? Why couldn't you just wash them in the sink? Well, don't no, you stay in nice enough hotels? They can rinse and fold for you overnight. There, there's a lot or, of questions yeah. we have, uh, and we've got a lot of time to answer them. But I have one more question. Where was he? Say it ain't so, Joe. Where was Shohei yesterday? Awfully quiet Ooh. on the Eastern Front. Let's talk about the opening day. Hey, Rangers, I remember that team. That's the last time we saw you. You did it again. That's the way you start a season. Oh, by the way, the Astros did not. Uh, we're talking opening day next. We're glad you're with us this morning. This is the Morning Huddle, and you're on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Talk. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, it is day two in Las Vegas. We are back at it again at Circa Las Vegas. The Blitz starts at 2 o'clock, and boy, what a fun time we've had. Absolutely. Of course, we'll get you ready for tonight's Sweet 16 games and talk about what we saw last night, baseball, and the stories from Vegas that we can share on the Blitz starting at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. On 94.1, San Antonio Sports Star. Hi, I'm Miko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location, and we're hungry for more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase. So your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for their participation. Cards issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20-volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20-volt max power stack battery two-pack free. A $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of deck plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. What's that sound? That's the sound of Downy Unstoppable Scent Beads going into your washing machine and giving your clothes freshness that lasts all day long. There it is again. It's like music to your ears or more like music to your nose. That freshness is irresistible. Let's get a Downy Unstoppable bottle shake. And now a sniff solo. Nice. Get six times longer lasting freshness plus odor protection with Downy Unstoppable's in wash scent beads. Fellow Americans, former CIA officer Jason Hansen here. Market instability and soaring debt have put your retirement at risk. For protection, I recommend diversifying into physical gold from Advantage Gold, a five-star rated gold company I've used for years. Their customer service is unmatched. Call 800-741-GOLD now and say Jason Hansen sent you and get a free 2024 gold investing kit. Again, call 800-741-GOLD. No one does happy hour like Twin Peaks. Get to your local Twin Peaks Monday through Friday from 2 to 7 and score some sweet deals like dollar off all wine, liquor, and of course, cheap shots. Freezing cold, 29 degree cold beer. Of course, we expect that. And you need more? How about a snack? Twin Peaks has select apps for 2 4 and $6. And you can always come back for the late night specials. Why would you even leave for the reverse happy hour? No one does happy hour quite like Twin Peaks. Eats, drinks, and all those scenic views. You know that Big Bargain detergent jug is 80% water, right? 80% water? I thought I was getting a better deal because it's so big. If you want a better clean, Tide Pods are only 12% water. The rest is pure, concentrated cleaning ingredients. Ooh, pass me the intercom thing. Attention shoppers. If you want a real deal, try Tide Pods. Don't pay for water. Pay for clean. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide Pods. Water content based on the leading bargain liquid detergent eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Hi, everyone. If you've been injured in an accident that was not your fault, listen up. We have legal professionals standing by to answer your questions for free. 
Call now and find out if you have a case and how much it's potentially worth. Call 800-702-1010. I'm here with spokesman John Wolf. So, John, tell everyone listening who should call right now. Well, Maria, first off, thank you for having me here. It's always nice to answer the listeners' questions. Now, as far as who should call in, anyone who's been injured in an accident and think you deserve compensation, give us a call right now. 800-702-1010. You'll find out if you have a case and how much it's potentially worth. Thanks, John. You heard it, folks. Take advantage of this opportunity and call now. 800-702-1010. Advertisement sponsored by Legal Help Center may not be available in all states. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you'll owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-714-8422. 800-714-8422. 800-714-8422. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. If you get arrested, get out of jail fast by calling AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121. Text BAIL to 474747 or online at MyBestBailBonds.com. You don't have to call attorneys or anybody else. Don't be forced into a PR bond. If the jail offers you one, make sure you understand the conditions before accepting it. AA Best Bail Bonds. Nobody beats their price. They have payment plans. Call 210-225-2121 or MyBestBailBonds.com. License number 149. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. Hey, it's the morning huddle. Gather around. I got something to give out. Uh, let's give away a prize to our morning brigade crew. I've got a set of, uh, uh, of a couple of three things. I got corn tickets. I got... Uh, <laughs> Uh, and Corn will be here with a, a variety of uh, different uh, bands on October the 21st. They're bringing Gojira and Spirit Box. I got a pair of tickets to those. I got a pair of tickets to the Bolero Texas Open. This is the Saturday uh, moving day on uh, that's next Saturday, a week from tomorrow. And I also have a uh, Fandango. Do I have Fandango codes? I do, right? Yes, I have uh, all fan- three of them Fandango codes to go see Godzilla uh, X Kong. Not V, but X. Um, so let's clear the lines. Uh, 656 Espen to you and me. Uh, caller number three, get your choice. Pick one, uh, because we take care of our, those that have an alarm clock. Uh, the opening day went down yesterday. Um, it was, uh, first of all, uh, the Yankees with their biggest opening day comeback since, what, 1959 as the Astros stubbed their toe. The Rangers uh, began the season as they ended it with offense and a 10th inning uh, walk off. Uh, but not a lot of talk about Otani. I mean, there was obviously the attempt to focus on what's really important, and that's the games, but there was certainly a shadow. If you go to Major League Baseball's website at MLB.com, there is nothing. I mean, not one thing, not one off to the side bullet point, anything. About Otani, you go to ESPN's baseball home. Their MLB content covers opening day takeaways, <laughs> what we learned from a wild start to the 2024 MLB season. It's a photo of the Yankees celebrating at Minute Maid. The top headlines, you know, different stories. The Diamondbacks had a 14 run third inning, you know, different sort of things. The very top headline says Otani welcomed helps bets Freeman drive win. <laughs> and you think, okay, maybe, like to your point, maybe they're just trying to be cool. You yeah. know, maybe, maybe they don't want to overwhelm anybody, whatever. You open the story, and it, I mean, this is about, I mean, I'm eyeballing this, maybe 500 words, five, five 600 words. And it talks about Otani and what he did on the field yesterday. Not a single mention 
of anything. The word scandal isn't used once. Gambling isn't used once. It is amazing. The universal gag order that has been adopted by everybody involved here. You know, there's this. It's fishy. Uh, it, it's fishy. Um, we know there's more there. There, it's just that this story ain't real. It, it it's not true. Now you guys might be able to stick to it, and it might fade away. But the story that you've given us, I think we can all agree that ain't right. That there, there's there's that is not one hundred percent true. But beyond the uh, truth or fiction of it, the, the the meme that's floating around now, I I just can't get past because I. I it's so absolutely true. I mean, say it ain't so, Shohei. Say, tell me, uh, let's let's go to our crack reporter on the sidelines, holding the uh, doing the uh, name your sports book beat back to the uh, Bet MGM Studios to the dude that's holding the over and under and the bigger or smaller or the prize picks thing or the BetUS.com. Uh, you know, I, it's a very difficult thing to say. How dare this happen? As I go to break and promote betus.com. I mean, it's I just a, a strange world that we're in. So I get why everybody's kind of yeah. quiet about it because we're all kind of facing this. Wow, this is weird. This doesn't feel uh, pure. That's fine if you feel some level of hypocrisy here, but the the rule is the rule. Oh, and, I agree. So, I agree. I mean, I don't know why it isn't a story that he may or may not have broken a rule or there's an investigation there's an investigation as to whether or not he committed the same sin that the most polarizing figure in the history of the sport committed. And nobody, nobody's even talking about it. That's, that's very, very, very strange that nobody is even mentioning this, that we're just going to act like this massive story. What would actually be the biggest story in sports is just not out there. This is, it's, oh, man, he, he uh, you know, they played, they won. Woo, they're back. Chavez Ravine, baby. Cool. Like, how is this? It's it's wild that everyone is just kind of acting like all is right. copacetic. Well, Rob Manfred, the once and soon to be former uh commissioner of baseball, talked about the situation, Otani in particular. Given the way the story unfolded, it's important in terms of um, assuring our fans uh, about the integrity of the game, that we verify um, the things that Mr. Otani has said. And it, it's really that simple. But now back to the jackbets.com studios to talk about it. Um, that, they're see, verifying. Like that, they're, they're, that, they're, we're, that, we're, we're doing point, our due diligence. That point falls, you know, I, like I, that point means nothing to me. I get what you're saying, but that has nothing to do. Otani allegedly you know gambled and i doubt his motivation was well you know uh major league baseball's draft par or partner is fan duel so i should be able to do whatever i want you know what i mean like this this, <laughs> just, this is a coincidence that works in his favor i don't think it's a part of the story hey coming back was there a fight in the jets locker room fight 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 well you know um, let's hope there was at least the cowboys don't have that going in fact uh mccarthy told us yesterday he likes where he is uh, we're talking about the NFL meetings, what's going on there in Orlando, and was there really a tussle going on between the owner and the coach and the New York Jets? That and other things goes on as the, as the NFL world turns right here on uh, 94.1 San Antonio Sports Talk. Nothing beats March Madness. The pure sound of a swish, the rattle of a slam dunk, the fans on their feet for the big moments. And the action just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. 
They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-2706. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-2706. That's 800-575-2706. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Gomez Law Firm has been taking care of the people of San Antonio for almost 50 years, the leader in personal injury law. Jose, tell us a little bit more about what you do. We do ride-sharing cases, 18-wheeler cases. Obviously, we've done those for very many years. Work injuries. We will be happy to take a look at and see if we can help. If you have been injured in an accident or hit by a company vehicle, then you need to visit JoeGomezLaw.com. We've been around for almost 50 years, and we're not going anywhere. Call the Gomez Law Firm at 736-4040. Hey, poker players, the Big Blind is open. With a true Vegas feel, the Big Blind is the premier poker room in San Antonio, featuring an upscale environment catering to players from all abilities. Whether you are seeking high-octane tournaments or lively cash games, the Big Blind has the game for everyone. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road, just down from the Roo Pub, offers daily cash games to daily, weekly, weekly and monthly tournaments. Learn more online at TheBigBlindSA.com. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road. Meet Cheryl. Hey, she's on vacation and lost in the moment. Unfortunately, so is her Chase debit card. It's got to be somewhere. Maybe she lost it at Salsa Night. These skirts should have pockets. Or maybe she lost it at Pilates. Three and two and five. But she's not worried. With the Chase mobile app, she can lock her card till it turns up. Tools that help protect. One bank that puts you in control. Visit chase.com slash checking. Chase, make more of what's yours. Chase mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Message and data reads may apply. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member FDIC. eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Hard work, dedication, and dreams. These are the keystones of success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. And getting your max refund guarantee definitely doesn't hurt. But let others think you did a lot of hard work to file your taxes when in reality, it was a walk in the park. No, no, you literally filed while walking your dog in the park. Winner! Because some key info is pre-filled for you, so you can file quickly and confidently like the boss that you are. So give yourself the peace of mind that comes with getting expert help. Because you're going places. Let's go. And make tax season feel like it's award season with easy filing. Yeah. Know that you're backed by the leading tax preparer, TurboTax, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. Feel accomplished and confident that your taxes are done right. File an Intuit Credit Karma today. Ah, yeah. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. This is Joe Reinagle from The Blitz. You're listening to 941 San Antonio Sports Star. Hey, it's the morning huddle. That's RJ appropriately attired in game day bala colors as the Spurs play in the Knicks. We're talking silver and black in just a couple of minutes. Uh, Easy E, what did we just give away? Fandango what? code. Fandango to go see Godzilla X. Kong. 
if you could go, if you could walk out of the studio right now and go see this I movie could right if I now. wanted to. I, and there's nothing or nobody but uh, Edwin. And nothing the good Lord. And nobody. Would stop um, me. Uh, I would go see. I still haven't seen Dune 2. I'm ashamed to say I have still yet to make it. Uh, but I have great intentions for this weekend, though. The tourney's in the way. So um, I, that's what I'd do first. I'm really sad that you haven't seen a lot of things. Oh, no. Succession is definitely at the top of that list. Though. Dude, I got so much other stuff. I finished up uh, Apple Won't Fall, and I'm in, I'm into three-body problem now, and my mind is blown. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Succession. Uh, that's old news. Uh, the, okay. uh, there, there's a weird story coming out of New York. We, we, I, we laugh about it, but it's the silly season. Um, NFL, uh, network, uh, host, uh, says there's a fight. Uh, there's not a fight. The owner says there's not a fight. She has to issue a <laughs> statement. You know, uh, it's just funny that, that, you know, as, as many things as the Cowboys have wrong with them, at least they don't have that. The jets would be exhausting. To really <laughs> it really Cause, would be. Cause you just have. Annoying thing after annoying thing after annoying thing. He said this. There was a fight. There wasn't a fight. Now they're commenting about how there wasn't a fight. And I actually think there was a fight. I, I mean, Do that's, you really that's think where I, I think that most people don't rush to declare false stories false. You know what I'm saying? Most people aren't in a hurry to go say that's not true. Most people are out to, you know, in a hurry because there's a semblance of truth. So they want it squashed right away. All How right. many things were said about Woody Johnson and Robert Sala? And this was the one that they were like, oh, too far. But gotta, I believe gotta. a lot of crap. Robert Sala's a solid dude. He ain't fighting with Woody Johnson. He, Not, he's also physically a solid dude. I, that would be a yeah. stupid fight for Woody Johnson. He's paying you millions of dollars. You, you come slap me on the side of the face with a glove. I don't, I don't care. I'll take it. You pay me wow. $10 million. Seriously, man. Rob's a sellout. Wow. Uh, absolutely. You're going to pay me $8 million? <laughs> uh, yeah, I sold out. I'll see you in the Bahamas. Pro days are continuing. Yesterday, we saw Penix and Drake May. Um, have you ever seen a bad pro day? I'd like to see I'd like to see a headline. You know, all problems proved pro day a failure <laughs> for so-and-so. That's, not, you know, that's never going to happen. Uh, everybody looks good in their pro day. Um, if, if you are a betting man right now, Seeing the, all the QBs, it's going to be a good draft. It's not unprecedented, but we're going to have four or five going the first round. Um, maybe six. Who's the best one in five years? Caleb Williams. You think Caleb? Yeah, I think that's pretty pretty safe. Yeah, and he well, seems to have the right team that's going to grab him and, and set him up for success. Well, ask Justin. We'll we'll see. That's that's fair. Uh, Billy, uh, Billy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Brian, uh, Kelly, uh, the coach Brian. down down there and the uh, y'all the domer wearing tiger pants um he let it slip yes it looks like Jaden's a commander he, he is going to be so committed to taking care of himself um that you don't have to worry about size or he doesn't weigh enough uh, lamar's done a pretty good job with his size i think uh mahomes i wouldn't consider him a giant because he's going to get the ball out to the playmakers and, and make plays uh, for washington who I think that that's more of trying to help his guy than anything because everybody it's known that Caleb Williams is going to be number one. So he's trying to, you know, oh, he's number two. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's just, he's just trying to say the highest possible spot that he could go. I, I believe of all, I like, I like may, I think that guy looks like a solid dude. I don't know if he's anything more than Kirk cousins, but there's nothing wrong with Kirk cousins. Um, there isn't, but a lot of people act like there is no, there's not, uh, but I think that the, a star, it could be Penix. I think you get him late. I think he'll get to get to rest a year, get to marinate wherever he lands. And I think of all the dudes that will land in the position with the least amount of pressure with the most amount of talent, I think it's Penix. If he does fall in the first round and can find a place where he can sit and develop, it, it'd be interesting to watch. It's just so hard to know that without right. knowing who, you know, because the coaching staffs could change. I mean, we have no idea exactly who it could ultimately win. But one of the things I took out of last year, and I didn't get an, enough Drake May North Carolina football. I saw a couple of the games, at least enough highlights. But I saw Penix in, in some bad weather. You know, that Washington up there in Seattle, and I saw him in another game. And he can drive the ball to the edges of the field in bad weather. I mean, he he didn't. He's got a good arm, not just a, an average arm, a really good arm. And 
the legs to travel. I think he it, it, he could be How the about guy. Seattle then. How about Seattle? I think that if they had the opportunity, I think they'd be crazy to pass up. I do. Rob Spur- just called them crazy. I, I, you know, they've done crazier things and they've done smarter things. Hello, Russell. Uh, coming back, the Spurs try to stack three. Hadn't happened very often. We'll figure it out. Silver and black convo around the bend. And I still got uh, corn tickets and Valero Texas Open tickets. And that's next week. Go get a snack. We'll be right back talking Spurs. What you think, San Antonio Sports? Think 94 1, San Antonio Sports Star. Your home for the Cowboys. KTFM Floorsville and SASportsStar.com. Do you want the most money for your used car and a hassle free process? Give me the VIN. We'll beat your written CarMax offer or write you a check for 100 bucks. It's that simple. Give me the VIN is fast, easy, reliable, and pays top dollar for your car. It's that simple. Give me the VIN is A plus rated by the BBB. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVIN.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. Give me the bin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. At Edwin Watts Golf Shops by Worldwide Golf, there's something that binds us all. The collective goal to transcend the ordinary. Introducing the all-new Ping G730 and I530 irons. The G730 irons are Ping's longest and most forgiving irons, while the I530s fit golfers who want more distance in a player's design and are engineered for higher launch and more. Visit us in-store at Edwin Watts Golf Shops or online at WorldWideGolf.com. Get there. That's Mike saying good morning. It's the best he can do right now. Yeah, not a cloud in the sky. What Mike could use is a fresh start. And Irish Spring Body Wash. The fresh scent of Irish Spring and those sensational Irish Spring suds are just the reset Mike needs. Now he's ready to go to work. It's Sunday. Irish Spring. When the spring hits you, you're ready. Pick up Irish Spring at Walmart today. Hi, I'm Kamiko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location, and we're hungry for more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, so your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for the participation. Cards issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. Jason Minnick's here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick em. It is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. You've made your bracket. It's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the pick em game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your pick em entry. And all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big. Up to 100 times your money in a single night. Endless projections to choose from. Create your own experience. So download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com. Sign up with my promo code STAR and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, you'll get a mystery special pick to use in your first pick of entry. Must be over 18 and present in a state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Again, promo code STAR at underdogfantasy.com. When was the last time you went to the dentist? Need a new dentist? Hi, Jason Minnix here. Go see my dentist at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Smile Structure can handle all your dentistry needs from general dentistry to oral surgery, orthodontics for the kids or Invisalign for adults. Mention this ad, get a free exam and x-rays. Better owned with five San Antonio area locations. Learn more and book an appointment online at smilestructure.com. That's smilestructure.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, it's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Get to Twin Peaks for their beer-battered fish and chips. This beer-battered cod is served with house-made tartar, malt vinegar, and french fries, and score them along with a 22-ounce Miller Lighter Coors Light for just $12. That's every Friday through Easter. Twin Peaks! Heard the catchphrase that's sweeping the nation? Jackson, Hugh, yeah! 
People are saying Jackson Hue yeah to Jackson Hewitt because they love saving money on tax prep. Do you love saving money? Then switch to Jackson Hewitt today and pay less than last year. Thousands of people have already made the switch. Why haven't you? Stop waiting and start filing. You won't get a better deal or a better catchphrase. All together now. Jackson Hue yeah! Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. It's one thing falling in love with a house picturing yourself moving in and calling it home, and quite another navigating the world of price negotiating, mortgage lenders, and finding the budget that works best for you. An agent who's a Realtor can make understanding that world easier. Realtors have the expertise, access to proprietary data, and tools to help you get from imagining living somewhere to actually doing it. That's the kind of help we can provide, because that's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. 94.1. San Antonio's Sports Center. The Sweet 16 was upset ridden as it began last night. Clemson upset Arizona 77 72. Alabama smacked North Carolina 89 87. And Illinois upset Iowa State 72 69. The number one overall, UConn rolled San Diego. Gets going again tonight. Catch all the games live right here. On San Antonio Sports Talk. Sports Center is brought to you by Buyers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. BuyersBarricades.com. Brendan Yama three. Goes behind the back here. Oh! Little sidestep and a jam by Wimbin Yama. Drive. Oh, it's away by Wimbin Yama. This is the morning huddle on 94 1, San Antonio Sports Star. With Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, R.J. Ochoa. Now, here's Rob and R.J. Here we are. Take one good look at us at our YouTube feed. That is R.J. I am Rob. Together, we create the morning huddle on a weekday morning basis. We're glad everybody's with us. Already giving away one thing to our morning brigade. Uh, I believe, since we have left the Valero, Texas Open, uh, which would uh, RJ and I will be broadcasting live from the friendly confines of the driving range at the TPC uh, next fr- a week from today. We will be uh, probably wrapped in some sort of heavy coat uh, watching. Uh, I'm trying to remember who the early morning dudes were, but we would be going on, you know, we go on early and there'd be guys already on the range getting ready for the day. Uh, we'll be out there next week. I cannot wait. Rory, I understand, will be uh, here. That's right. And hopefully it's not too windy. Out on the driving range, because if not, I'll be off. <laughs> we don't want that. We, we we don't need that. Never, ever. Uh, that's uh, next Thursday, Friday. I have a tick, a pair of tickets to go next Saturday. And I so promise to you, hand? it is a promise to you, that the moment we conclude talking, and I say talking with an apostrophe, silver and black, somewhere in the 720 range, I'm giving away a pair of tickets. Because that's, hey. that's RJ made me. I'm just going to pocket them myself, but I'm going to go ahead and give them away. So uh, be here in about, I'd say, 17 minutes, somewhere in that vicinity. Okay. But, you know, we're we're slaves to the uh, second hand here in radio. So uh, stacking three wins. Uh, You know, we we, we had the discussion, are they going to win again at the end of the season? And I I honestly didn't think they would, but what's the point? Uh, We're uh, here, and we have the Knicks coming in. Um, they're the hottest team to come into the building in a minute. Uh, Jalen Brunson is uh, firmly ensconced as one of the top guards in the NBA, and the Knicks have leapfrogged both the Magic and Cavaliers uh, for the third spot in the Eastern Conference. Now, the third in the East is kind of like, you know, it's like a, New York's a good solid, uh, they're a solid three in the East, but probably a six in the West. You know what I mean? If we're if we're going apples to apples, but you know, there's still maybe a seventh in the West, but it is New York, and they are coming in and they are uh fending off those that are attacking the Spurs on the other way, on the other hand, are last in the Western Conference and uh in the lottery yet again. So what's the point is my 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 general thing here. But uh, yeah, stacking three wins is enough, especially after the last game, Devin uh doing the stuff he needed to do. Keldon should be rested and ready to go. Wimby you know, we're closing the door on a rookie campaign that exceeded all expectations, but wins, uh, this might be an opportunity. Now, the last time I saw the Knicks, they rolled in here last year, and uh, 
Emmanuel quickly hung 40 on us. It's not going to go well for this person. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would love to pretend that they're going to get their third win in a row for the first time this season. I would love to pretend that Wemby's going to go five for five or five by five. I would love to pretend that all is hunky dory and that it's just going to be a grand old time. The Knicks are way too good. You, you can you can diminish their success this season all you'd like, but I think you're a hater and I think that you smell bad. Um <laughs> But but objectively, are, you have to agree that the East is weak. Okay, that doesn't matter. I mean, because objectively, you have to agree they're a significantly better team than the Spurs. And they're going to prove that in spades tonight. Well, I mean, I, do you really think the Spurs have a competitive chance? Tonight? Well, I think matchups are favorable. But the problem well, is they're not nearly tough enough to deal with a New York team that you know is playing with a, with a chip on its shoulder. Would you agree that those out in the desert where Jason and Joe are tend to know best. Uh, I, there's a reason why the, where they're staying is nice and tall and glittery and with bright lights. Yes, I will agree with that. So the Spurs are not the biggest underdog of the day. That would belong to the Hornets. They're 12-point dogs against the Warriors. But they are close. They are nine-point home dogs to the Knicks. It's just not it's not gonna be close, Rob. Well, the they've Knicks won two straight. Win. The Spurs have won two <laughs> straight. The Knicks have won three straight. The the Knicks have been a, a much better basketball team than the Spurs all season long. See what uh now it I will be interesting to watch the uh ongoing Dante DiVincenzo hot streak. He set a Nick record the other night. I think what is it, like eleven three, something ridiculous. See, he, like that's the other thing, man. The idea of of Dante DiVincenzo and Jalen Brunson playing a March basketball game in the city of San Antonio um, d- does not suggest that they're going to play poorly. That's 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 when they're at their hottest. They Dude, you mentioned that they've won three in a row. They've won seven of their last eight. I mean, they are... <laughs> and their only loss was against Denver in that span. They're on... Toronto, if, if that's any indication, they are coming in hot. Uh, Wimby coming off his, you know, an average fall out of bed, 19 point game after a, a game off, but that and 19 million turnovers. And, well, there were six turnovers. I do believe the numbers and th- I'm glad you, you, you brought that up and we know how the Spurs win games. At least this version is don't turn the ball over. It seems that, you know, some teams can overcome the turnovers because they create enough havoc, get enough steals, hit enough threes that, you know, you can live with. 13, 14, 15 turnovers because you're playing that aggressive style that's creating buckets that you wouldn't ordinarily get but for the aggressiveness. So I get it sometimes, but the Spurs can't play that way. And the Knicks are going to come in rough and tumble. They're going to try to put the Spurs in situations, especially Wimby, to turn the ball over. They're going to give him a little bit of rope. Uh, the 19 points was a good sign because we saw the Spurs, you know, other guys step up. And that I would like to see that. I, I want to see... Victor look a lot like that Homer Simpson meme where he's standing against the hedges and just kind of backs up and disappears into the into the the hedge row. It's time for that, man. It, it's time. You're saying on the on the season as a whole, you as want a whole, gone. just kind of step okay. away, fade away. It, the, give us an Irish become, goodbye. Oh, that, okay, that makes more sense because th- that meme has become stepping into the hedges and then coming out like supporting a different team. I know what you're going. No, I'm just saying Um, fade away. You don't have to say goodbye. We don't have to officially announce it. Maybe it's 19 minutes. Then it's, you know, 16 minutes. And then it's a a 14 minutes. Then it's a start three minutes in the first half, four minutes and a half. And then next thing you know, it wouldn't be standing in some Givenchy garnet that looks (laughs) weird here, Uh, but it's all the rage in Paris. And we, we see him next uh, wearing a, a, a French flag with a big chicken on it. Over under four and a half turnovers for Wendy. Over. Yikes. I take the more. That sucks. Well, it, it, it appears to be Pop's cost of doing business. I think it, we have a, it, the old Pop. We wouldn't, it, Wimby wouldn't have been in a game long enough to turn the ball over six times. In fact, on the sixth turnover, the bus would have been warming up for Austin for anybody in the history of the Spurs, but for this year. So uh, he's going to be allowed to, to, Take that rope and either tie a knot or a bow. I don't know, but uh, they're going to give him plenty of uh, plenty of room to tie himself up. So I, I expect lots of turnovers. 
But, you know, if, if they're aggressive with it and, and it's sins of commission, I'm down. I think that they've got a chance here. I think the, the, the Knicks. The Knicks are running right. a little hot. I think that uh, anybody who's been following the Spurs uh, saw what they did to Phoenix, and I think Phoenix woke up. Vogel ripped his team into shape, and they went up to Denver. So I don't, I don't think New York's coming in here expecting nothing. I do think that, you know, and it is Wimby. They're not going to come in uh, small, but I, I do think that the Spurs do at least have a fighting chance because they've been running a little bit hot. What do you guys think? 656-3776, 656-ESP. And as we head uh, down toward the uh, the pits of despair, 17 wins. It's pretty tough, man. It's And it's not going to get better, I don't think. I mean, we we lie to ourselves. We cope. Right, we bargain, and we say that this, you know, that maybe they could win three in a row. Maybe this could turn itself around. It's not. This is too good of a basketball team that they're playing. This, you know, I know that they beat the Suns, and that was cute and fun, but there's just no way. No, there's no way. And then it, it's not going to get easier against Golden State on Sunday well, or Denver. No, but with that in mind, how much as coach would you push the fact that you guys don't want to be? the worst team in franchise history that you use this as nobody taking any minutes off. We are not going to set that record. I mean, or is it I think a that, foregone conclusion? And what's the point and who really cares? And that's kind I'll of flip. the attitude I'm headed toward. Who really cares? That's what I was about to ask you. You said, if I was the coach, well, if you, if you were on the team, if you were Blake, your boy, Blake, do you really care that, that you could be a part of you? You've lost so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, What's, what's, you know, seven more? Is, it, is anybody really going to lose sleep? Are you ever right. going to, in 20 years, be like, damn, we set the record for fewest wins in franchise history? No, nobody's going to care. Maybe Victor will care one day. That's it. Nobody else will. And, you know, it would make for a phenomenal story where you do truly get the worst to first. But, unfortunately, it took two worse and an all-time to <laughs> would might the proper arc, plot arc that would take Wimby to the next. I, I think that there there is some pride there, and I wouldn't I, I, I wouldn't want to be on the on on literally the worst team, especially because most of these cats ain't coming back. If it wouldn't compromise their ability to get better by by way of the lottery, I would agree with you. Mm-hmm. But I think that they're so deep into this that you know prohibiting themselves from from that record isn't worth compromising the potential gain that they've been in you know that they've been seeking through this entire process they've, they've been in pain for so long you just have to endure a little bit longer and, and watching the tournament i can tell you this my attitude about toronto's pick has changed i want them to keep that pick keep it keep it I'll, I'll use it next year bro there's just not a lot of there there in this draft the more i see you know there, there's some uh, there's a lot of guys that can help but there's not anybody that's going to change things so, you know, as I see Toronto sitting right now at number five, and they're, I mean, at six, I believe, yeah, at six. Uh, and their pick is protected through six, I believe. Uh, I don't want right. that pick this year. I mean, if we do get it, it might be nice to, you know, play with as far as a poker chip and a, and a broader game. But as far as the talent that would go along with it, it just isn't, it just ain't worth it. I'm almost to the point where trade down, there, there's nothing. I haven't seen one guy that, uh, it has played in college this year. I mean, there might be a Euro out there that, you know, I've seen Zabruder tape of, but I haven't seen one guy in college this year, except for maybe that kid from Illinois, but we got backdoor issues there um, that would legitimately take a franchise and do something different with them. It's just not anything there. So, you know, go. I'm a big fan of Toronto. Um, hold on to that six, lose, lose out. We don't, we, we don't want it. Sure. But the Spurs also need to lose that as well. Again, we've come this far. You know, compromise. What what are uh, we going to compromise it for? I'm on record, for, man. Uh, I would rather draft 12th through 20th than three this year or four or wherever they end up. I, I'd rather be down later because I think you're going to get the same <laughs> the same value, the same quality of player. So I, I think maybe the Spurs are seeing the same thing. So with that in mind, go win, man. Take, take Go get some. Don't be the worst. You, got, you, got, you, you can count will, on Detroit. Detroit actually, will give you one. So really all I, they've got to do is win three games. 
I'm curious if other people agree. Once, so once again, 656 ESPN, 656 3776. Would it bother you, Rob? Would, would it bother you? Not, not a you hypothetical coach, not you hypothetical player, but would it bother you? Would you, Rob Thompson, be mad if the Spurs had the worst record in franchise history this year? I, I think it would be if I'm Greg Popovich in my no, heart. Of it's, hearts, I'm no, as you. me, if I was the coach. And I had no, been, as you who like just a regular dude like wrong. me sitting in my chair. Yeah, well, I mean, it's yeah, not gonna. I'm not gonna question. lose any sleep over it. But if I have any, if I'm being paid by the Spurs organization, it's a damn disgrace. This is so far away from where we thought we would be. The moment that the uh, the envelope was pulled, the moment that we pulled uh, the Wimby ping pong ball. Uh, this is it's a damn disgrace. And when the season is over, I don't care how they wind up and, and Victor gets all the awards and he's better than we thought. Uh, this is so far away. So, no, I, when we're done, that uh, post-mortem meeting is going to suck because if I'm the boss, some of y'all ain't going to be back next year. This was but the meeting, as bad as it could have me- been given as good as it was. The meeting's going to be 30 minutes, and then everyone's going to move on with their lives. No, Nobody is going to let this sit with them for longer than the drive home. That's well, it. And I mean, the thing is, it's not about the W's and L's. It's about why there were no, so few W's. It's because why was this failed experiment allowed to continue for as long as it was? Why wasn't so there more done at the trade deadline to at least maybe augment the future other than let's set a couple of vets free? I mean, why did we continue to – kind of meld metal with the six man for so long why is it taking so long for uh malachi and blake to kind of find their footing why isn't there more depth at big i mean there's i have so many whys and there's not a lot of answers that came out of this year so uh, no this is un- an unmitigated disaster with uh but that- think about how bad i i don't i mean we have wimby and we have literally the worst team the spurs have ever had with the best rookie we've had in 25 years and by the numbers the best rookie that's hit this league in 25 years so uh disaster unmitigated are- from the city uniform brown warm-ups to the homies and going in austin it's just you're, you're being too dramatic no, because I'm not. those are you are because those are fair wise to be very clear but they extend well beyond and way before the final two weeks of the season you know and so like you started off saying if i were pop before we had to you know narrow Mm -hmm. this and say you're rob thompson if you're pop or if you're brian Wright, i don't really feel bad for you i don't don't really care that you are ashamed or whatever you are the ones who who held the the brush this entire time and you painted this masterpiece you were the people who put us all in this situation so I don't care. I'm apathetic about this whole thing. I'm with Coogs. Coogs says in the Brigade Bar, we're in that tough in between. I don't think I personally care about this season in terms of franchise record. So what? I mean, wow, we had the second worst record in franchise history. Woohoo! Pizza party time. You know what I mean? Like, that's pathetic. Well, at least I mean, you're not all, on the top no, of the list. No, it's all pathetic. It's all pathetic. And again, Rushing to to get it all done in the eleventh hour to get enough wins so that you're not at the top of the list doesn't mean that it was a successful season. It just means you put some lipstick on the pig. So you have very fair, you know, claims of why, petitions of why, but those whys needed to be addressed. To your point, in February, in March, in November, mm-hmm. last summer, the moment that they that the envelope was pulled and they found out that Wemby was coming. And that doesn't mean that the future is doomed or condemned either, but it means that this season was completely in their hands. And so whether they finish with 19, 20, 21, God amazingly, 22 wins, it doesn't change anything. It's already what it is. It's a failure an of a year. It was disaster. a throwaway of Wemby's rookie season. Yeah, an unmitigated disaster. Just- it, but it wasn't unmitigated. It was like... It was consciously mitigated. <laughs> That's the worst part. Well, you know uh, what I'm saying? I don't know if there was Un- an Unmitigated to... implies that, that there was some level of disaster outside of their control. They signed up for this. It, they, they did nothing to improve the roster. So it's this blood is on their hands. But they might be the next to worst. Hey, what do you guys <laughs> think? Uh, before we go any further, um, let's give away some tickets. The Valero Texas Open is next week. I promised you a pair for Saturday, 656-3776. 656-ESPN to you and me, caller number nine. <laughs> Get it? Uh, caller number nine is going to go to the uh, 
uh, Valero Texas open on us. That leaves just one uh, pair of tickets to give away, and that's uh, Kong versus, uh, no, it's Godzilla versus Kong. Godzilla X Kong. Uh, we talk silver and black at 7 o'clock. Make sure you're a part of it. Subscribe to the podcast. We send it out to you post-haste. If you miss it live, you can always go to sasportstar.com and catch up via our, our uh, I was going to say our podcast central, our audio vault. What okay. would be the best description of what I'm speaking of? You can always catch up with all of our online content. There you go. Um, what is the most successful professional franchise in the state of Texas? All time or recently in the last 25 or 30 years where, where do the cowboys rank who what what are the teams that we, now that everybody's playing i mean we got the strohs and they got some belts and the rangers have a rangers banger. got one they got one hanging i know that the 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 hockey thing the stars got a couple uh who's the most successful franchise in the professional realm in the state of texas and no you ut fans you don't count uh we'll be right wow. back talking that and where the cowboys stand in the pantheon of texas greatness that's next <laughs> Because RJ stands pretty tall in that realm. Uh, we're right here on 94.1 uh, San Antonio Sports Talk. 94.1. The John Clay Wolf Show. Here's what's going on in the Wolf Pack. Bobo, we appreciate you. Thanks, man. Gigi doesn't. She said, <laughs> no, you care. left me hanging, but whatever. I still love you. And I was there first. You're talking about the show meeting you had yesterday. Oh. She's the only one that showed up. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sitting there like, yeah, guys, I'm three minutes early. Right. Like, what the that was 50 to 1 odds in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> the John Clay Wolf Show. Catch the John Clay Wolf Show Saturdays from 9 a.m. to noon right here on San Antonio Sports Star. Are you ready to party with a purpose? Pays to the North Side is Thursday, April 18th at the beautiful Security Service Event Center. This elevated Fiesta event for foodies includes on site covered parking, entertainment, unlimited tastings from over 30 premier restaurants, countless curated wines and craft beers, hosted by Brighton Center, presented by HEB. Purchase tickets at tasteofthenorthside.org. Proceeds benefit Brighton Center in San Antonio serving children with disabilities through pediatric therapy and education initiatives. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. Bonus offers. And when the madness starts and Cinderella, man steps under the... BetUS always has your back with... Back to back to back 125% sign up bonuses on your first three deposits. And even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. What's that sound? That's the sound of Downy Unstoppable scent beads going into your washing machine and giving your clothes freshness that lasts all day long. There it is again. It's like music to your ears, or more like music to your nose. That freshness is irresistible. Let's get a Downy Unstoppable bottle shake. And now a sniff solo. Nice. Get six times longer lasting freshness plus odor protection with Downey Unstoppables in Wash Centies. Fellow Americans, former CIA officer Jason Hansen here. Market instability and soaring debt have put your retirement at risk. For protection, I recommend diversifying into physical gold from Advantage Gold, a five-star rated gold company I've used for years. Their customer service is unmatched. Call 800-741-GOLD now and say Jason Hansen sent you and get a free 2024 gold investing kit. Again, call 800-741-GOLD. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey, that's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. 
GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawon'twait.com. Hard work and dreams lead to success, but easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. Make filing taxes a walk in the park because we'll pre-fill your info for you so you can file quickly and confidently. Winner! Get the peace of mind that comes with expert help. Let's go! Being powered by TurboTax means you're backed by the leading tax preparer, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. File your taxes on Intuit Credit Karma today. Expert help not available with all products. Guarantee details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Injuries happen, and when they do, skip the ER and get to the OrthoNow Injury Clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. OrthoNow provides walk-in care for injuries like broken bones, dislocations, sprains, and strains. Conveniently located in the quarry area with extended hours Monday through Saturday with on-site x-ray casting and bracing, OrthoNow has everything you need to treat your injury, and best of all, no urgent care or emergency room copay. Learn more online at TSAOG.com. Buyers Barricades is proud to provide traffic control, rental, and sales for work zones and events in the San Antonio area and beyond. Buyers Barricades, the Texas authority in barricade rental. Learn more online at buyersbarricades.com. That's buyersbarricades.com. 94.1 FM. Wake up with a morning huddle. Jump in the boat. We're going skiing. It's the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. That's RJ. He's drinking something. I'm Rob. I'm not. Um, you got a great article coming out on blogging the boys. I find this very interesting because you know how things stay relevant, how things come and go, the the cyclical nature of sports franchises, the ups and downs of things, and how you know how how your fandom plays out is it, it's kind of interesting to look back on. Um, it's been a minute since the Cowboys won, though. It doesn't feel like it to a lot of people. And a lot of people, it feels like they've never won because they've never seen them. Okay. What, what is the most successful franchise in the state of a professional, you know, in the major sports over the last 25, well, 30 years? So the Cowboys are in a drought that is almost 30 years long at this point, right? They've The last Super Bowl they won was 30. We just concluded 58. <laughs> just to kind of put it in perspective and this this subject kind of comes up um you know certain reasons i think tug at the rope or the thread and last night was one of them we we've talked a lot all week about how it was opening day yesterday and what would it be an opening day that led to opening night and the defending world champion texas rangers as defending world champions hosted opening night uh, on ESPN, they got the walk-off win. Very exciting, et cetera, et cetera. Difficult for me to say as an Astros fan. But in addition to everything they did, Rob, they did all the stuff that you do when you're world champions. They had the gold trim on their uniforms, and they raised a banner. They raised a banner that says world champions. So the fact that they have now raised a banner, if we look at the the major professional sports in North America, in the United States, um, all due respect to other professional sports leagues, but – the NFL, the NBA, MLB, and the NHL. Pickleball. <laughs> the, um, the Dallas Cowboys now have the oldest title in the DFW Metroplex. The Rangers obviously just won their title. But I wanted to understand, like, what does it look like? Like, what does every team's look, you know, kind mm-hmm. of drought look like, so to speak? So I went and looked at, at every team's last title, every team's last uh, appearance in their championship round, whatever they call it. Um, how many times they've appeared in their championship round since the Cowboys drought began, and how many times they've appeared in their version of the conference championship game. Because the Cowboys can't even get there, right? They can't even reach the NFC championship game. So since 1996, Dallas has no title game appearances, no Super Bowl appearances. In that same time span, the Rangers have been to three ALCSs, which is their version of the championship game. They won all three of them. This They've been to the World Series three times, and they obviously won mm-hmm. it for the first time this past year. So that's the Rangers. The Mavericks have only won one finals, and it was 13 years ago in 2011. Wow, but they been have been to two. Years. Yeah, they have been to two finals, obviously, since the Cowboys last did any of this, um, given that they lost to the Heat in 2006. Um, now, again, I wanted to look at the round before. So the Western Conference Finals, the, how many times do you think the Mavs have been to the Western Conference Finals since 1996? 
Oh, a couple, I remember a couple with the Lakers, uh, but that was probably earlier than that. I'd say four times. They they have made it to four Western Conference Finals, and the last one, thank you, was twenty twenty two, right? Um, so they lost, obviously, but still they were they were there. They were around away, and the Dallas Stars for you hockey heads out there, they won the Stanley Cup in nineteen ninety nine. They were in the Stanley Cup Finals in two thousand and twenty. They lost to the Blues. They have been to three Stanley Cup Finals totals uh, total since nineteen ninety six, and they have been to six Conference Finals since nineteen ninety six. So between the Rangers, Mavericks, and Stars, you have 13 semifinal appearances and none from the Cowboys. Is that a baseline for success now? I mean, we have to uh, bear, bear minimum. It's I, a conference. I think it's a baseline, and I was thinking about this as I was writing this. You you will, like, the laws of probability are that you'll luck your way into an appearance. You know what I'm saying? Like, Well, evidently a, not. And as I'm saying, it's amazing that the Cowboys haven't even just found it themselves in one on accident. You know, it's it's actually more statistically difficult to be this consistently bad as opposed to sometimes accidentally, occasionally be good, as the Factor of Sadness video taught us many, many years ago. Um, but just quickly here, because I wanted to really, really, really understand this. So I was looking at just DFW, but I, I thought, well, let me look at the other major sports teams in the state of Texas as a whole. And so I went to the Texans, and they've never been to an AFC title game, they've, so they've never done any of these things. But they do have more playoff wins since they were founded and since they began play in 2002 than Dallas does in, in that same time right. span. So, you know, they, they at least have one up in that capacity. Now, the Rockets, the Rockets' last title happened just a few months before Dallas won Super Bowl 30, that 95 season. It should, shouldn't count because of Jordan. We all know that. But they have been to right. three Western Conference finalses in that same time span they haven't won any of them they almost beat the warriors remember with the kd thing and harden and all that stuff um and chris paul but still they've been to three western conference finals the houston rockets have been to three semifinal rounds in this time span the houston astros now now we're talking about now you know, we're a lot of some rings yeah right so the astros have been to five world series uh in this span once as a member of the national league four as as uh, the american league representative and they have been to nine championship round appearances, the NLCS and the ALCS combined. Nine compared to none from the Cowboys. And then the creme de la creme, the gold standard, the San Antonio Spurs, our San Antonio Spurs, their last title, of course, 10 years ago. They have been to six finals. Uh, we don't have to talk about that sixth one. But uh, <laughs> six finals appearances in this entire span. Um, obviously, the last appearance of any capacity was 2014. Um, but, um, did you quantify have, the, uh, dynamo or the Dallas soccer team? Either one of those, I did not, but uh, I have but, a feeling one or two of those have, there's a title in there. No, someplace. No, well, if, I was looking at FC Dallas, they've won a, a cup, but they haven't won the league title. So, I mean, it depends how you qualify. I'll, those I'll, we'll call a cup kind of a conference championship, right? How many times do you think the Spurs have been to the Western conference finals since 1996? Eight, nine. The answer is 10, 10. Oh yeah. 10 so a record of six and four in them but th like think about this I, I like to contextualize the cowboys drought in however many ways i can the entire spurs dynasty which at this point feels so old and so in the rearview mirror all was born lived out died and was buried and forgotten about since the dallas cowboys last even appeared in an nfc championship game isn't it wild to think about that way like when, when Dallas last won the Super Bowl or did any of these things, like the people were like the Spurs, you know, what I mean? people were like, get real. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy to think about it that way. Uh, I noticed you didn't bring up the Texans. I did. I said that they oh, haven't okay. even been to an AFC there we go. Game. So they, the, so by definition, at least the Cowboys can look down on the Texans. They, they have got, fewer they got playoff the, wins in them though. Well, the Cowboys do. Damn it. I don't even have that. No, there's nothing, man. Like they, they are since 1996, and I recognize we're cherry picking a, a, a point in time to start with here. But since 1996, they are the least accomplished professional sports team of the major sports leagues in the massive state of Texas. Well, then we got that going for us. <laughs> did, did you see the story floating around about how the, the Cowboys ended up? Uh, um, not the Cowboys. I'm sorry, Eric Armstead. How he ended up? Um, yeah. And how the disrespect that went on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. what, what that doesn't sound right to me. 
I mean, obviously only he knows what the offer was, but I'm with you. It does. It seem. It seems a little, a little stretched. Truth, but it could be the actual truth. Uh, uh, when I saw that kind of floating around, I thought this this doesn't really jibe with what I saw kind of go on behind the scenes as, as the as the Cowboys head into the weekend as the least successful professional franchise in the state of Texas uh, by playoff berth or by championship. Uh, the the rest of the country is finally catching on, and I'm I saw a Todd Archer article. And the gist of the article uh, was that no matter what you think, at the end of the day, now we thought that the true kind of deadline for Dak to get signed for the Cowboys felt like training camp. You brought it up. It feels like that's kind of the thing that the Cowboys do. But for the fatalists out there, for those of us who say, you know, the only way Jerry ever does anything is there has to be a looming deadline. The one thing that I did pick up from, from an Archer's article was that the true absolute drop-dead period for Dak to be a long-term Dallas Cowboy will not occur for another year. It really not until March of next year is really the true drop-dead, you better extend them, redo, whatever. Now, they've already hurt themselves and can still kind of fix it by the way that they handle his contract, the restructuring part of it. But does that make you feel any better for you, the long-term thing with Dak? Even though Ryan, we got some sound about maybe he doesn't even want him, but really we don't even have a deadline for another March. What until March? Why are we all up in arms? Because that that is not a proper and genuine reflection of reality. Can can the Cowboys literally sign Dak Prescott in March of 2025? Of course. Without that, that, any real ramifications other than the ones they're dealing with right now. No, that's still not true. Because at that moment in time. He, they're negotiating against the market that at that moment in time, anybody else can freely negotiate right. with him. And so that, I mean, and you or somebody else may find that to be not a big deal, but the, the variable changes there are the variables change in that, in that particular hypothetical, because the safety net is gone right now. You can, you have time and now. Nobody can talk to him. Nobody can do anything because He's under contract with you. He, this cannot happen. But the moment you get there is the moment that the, the stupid little tricks you try to pull off, he can outright leave and you can be left with nothing. You, you, you don't even have the promise of him returning to play for you for another year the way you do right now. You are truly flying without any sort of safety. Uh, yesterday, Ryan Clark, uh, he of the new big old contract on Get Up. Uh, said what I firmly, what I, I believe what Ryan says. Listen to this. He who finds a quarterback finds a, finds good, a good thing. thing. And so <laughs> when you get that quarterback and you lock into that marriage and that is your person, you are never going to sit at home and one day and tell your person, you can go be on The Bachelorette. I don't I love up. you enough <laughs> to lock you in. Jerry Jones has said I'm that next year we're going to let you go on The Bachelorette because I can do bad all by myself. <laughs> and so when you look at this team, not only are we saying you have to go out and play a certain way, win a certain amount of games, get us to a certain point for us to keep you, we are also not going to give you the necessary tools to do so. Uh, Ryan Clark, uh, first of all, why the Bachelorette, not the Bachelor? But that's a whole other question. Um, I believe this. I don't think, I think Jerry is trying to find the least artful and the most difficult way is, is how it's going to turn out. A way to, to, to wave goodbye to Dak. And you, you're and RJ, you're right in everything that you say, but in Jerry's heart of hearts, he's ready to get rid of Dak and he can't figure it out or is going to make it, you're going to draw it out as long as possible, but it will in the end be the end of the relationship. I still think you're giving them too much credit thinking that because, because if that were the case, if they were truly that calculated about, we need to move on from him, then why are like, like think, think about strip away the deck of it all strip away the, like the, the dumb mouth breathing Cowboys, you know, screaming culture of it all. But I get right? your point. I do. No, 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 you don't do. because, no, you don't because. If if you were that committed, if you decided this dude is not good enough, we have determined that. Why would you bring him back this year? Why, why would you go at, if 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 by your own measurement, by your own declaration, 
He's not good enough. Why would you go through another year with him? Because I have other things in play as well. So I, if, I, if so my dumb. plan, well, I'm just saying, if my plan is X, I'm going to let the next guy come in. I'm going to create a situation that maybe there is some success. And if there is, I'll no. address that when it happens. But if the failure is imminent, like I expected, I'm not spending any damn money. And at the end of this, when I wave goodbye to McCarthy and I wave goodbye to everybody else, the next guy coming in is going to have the why, opportunity to go pick a quarterback. To He's wait, not gonna, that's, that's, that's I'm, why I don't buy this. I don't buy this at all. Like I, I think, this requires some level of thought and, and every all signs point to them just not doing anything. Them just, I don't think they're aware of all these things because if, oh, they, they're if aware. it was, oh, we'll, we'll wave goodbye to McCarthy. We'll wave goodbye to Dak. Then do it now. If, if I mean, because, well, there's if, still if, a if you, modicum of, you know what, do or die. And it could happen. I do have a fair amount of talent on this team and there wasn't that many things wrong with it. And I'm not going to let too many things change. And if there is enough success for 12, 13 wins, I still get some money in the sponge and I get to carry on this narrative a little bit further. You act like there's no plan. There is a plan. It's just not one that you like. Well, the plan isn't a football plan then. No, like, no, that, you're that, exactly right there. Not a football plan. Yeah. Like, like th- this cannot be sold as some actual oh, football logic. This or football is business. Plan. This, this, this ain't mean, Sundays. This yeah. is Monday through Friday business. If if that's if that's what you're talking about, I am super depressed. But that is at least we at least have to define that. What I'm getting really sick of and really annoyed by is this presentation that this is the plan that they that they've hatched this you know incredible sequence of events and the way it's all going to unfold because nothing nothing suggests that again if they had decided at the beginning of this offseason you know what we we were we're, we're going to put the egg on our face Dak wasn't good enough whatever i would have disagreed with that but fine at least do it at, at least mm-hmm. s or get off the pot one way or another they're not they're not even sitting there with their phone on the pot they're not even sitting there with a magazine they are just sitting there aging developing hemorrhoids that's all they're doing like they're accomplishing nothing whatsoever they have nothing to show for their time spent this offseason and again whether you're pro or anti-dac i really don't care i don't have the energy for these fights you know at this point but you cannot tell me that this is some brilliant masterpiece of Picasso of a work of art that they're working on, because if they were, they would have made a move already. Even if it was moving on from Dak, you cannot tell me that you think he sucks. He's trash. And you're the most clever person in the world because you call him trash cod. When you type it out on the internet or use the emoji like for that, trash. Though. Can I use right? that? Cause I thought you it cannot, first. because it's so stupid. Trash. All right. I, I have no problem with insults, but be clever. Don't be the low hanging fruit person, but you cannot tell me that he sucks and he's trash and then trot him out for an entire season. The overwhelming hypocrisy and illogic within that is so heavy that it, it it weighs more than the humidity that we all deal with for four months out of the year you feeling better no get it out no because the, the, I, I the never weekend, thought i would say the word has, hemorrhoids here i, I, I know you did it and it was in good context actually too <laughs> uh and coming back let's let the you know the weekend does spread in front of you and we got lots of basketball uh but is there anything else in front of you for easter is there a tradition that are you going to be hunting eggs uh, are you going to be hiding eggs is there money in those eggs do you cook something special uh are you down at breckenridge park right now easter rituals we got to look forward to it's coming around the bend and maybe it'll change your uh your altitude just a bit hold on Everything we got a lot stupid and dumb it's and all, I hate it all stupid and dumb and hopefully everybody's enjoying their good friday last friday you have to have fish Got that going for you. Guess what? Uh, I got uh, some meat getting ready for. I want to tell you about Tri-County coming up this week, and it's one of the four majors. Uh, And if you are adequately prepared for one of the four majors, you've probably already been to Tri-County. and You know all the specials that are going on. But if you're waking up on this Friday planning, you need to head over to Tri-County right now. Uh, If it's a Sunday prime rib kind of deal, go get it now. It's going to need some prep work. But if it's, you know, by the... By the backyard, hamburgers and hot dogs hiding eggs, that's fine, too. They've got the best house-made dogs you're going to find anywhere in San Antonio and everywhere in between. Everybody's Easter is different if you celebrate at all. But we do know this. It's a springtime day in San Antonio. You might as well be standing over a grill. There are two great locations for uh, Tri-County over on Hebner Road and out on Ralph Fair. Uh, they got their Easter hours going, uh, and they will be celebrating appropriately. So head over now. Uh, the gifts are, are, are appropriate for you and the fan. Make sure the Easter egg's full of meat 
<laughs> head over and get yourself a prime rib. Get the burgers that you need. A couple of stuffed chicken breasts are always great to throw on the grill. And if you haven't gone and seen what their tomahawks look like, Man, oh man, what a great way to celebrate Easter. That's why I love Tri-County, because not only they got the meat I need, starts at prime and gets better from there. Uh, you're looking for the Wagyu and the Akaushi, they got it. And if they can't get it right there, they'll go get it for you. And if you haven't been already get cut, they'll cut it for you right then. Go to Tri-County and celebrate the weekend the right way. A great meal always starts with meat from Tri-County Meat Market. First responders, you're getting your 10% off. And always fill that bag with five, item, five items. The five for 25 is still and always will be the best deal in San Antonio. That's Tri-County Meat Market. Head over to either one of those locations, put some good meat on the grill, and I know you're going to be thanking me later. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, it is day two in Las Vegas. We are back at it again at Circa Las Vegas. The Blitz starts at 2 o'clock at Boy, what a fun time we've had. Absolutely. Of course, we'll get you ready for tonight's Sweet 16 games and talk about what we saw last night, baseball, and the stories from Vegas that we can share on The Blitz starting at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. The Golf Club of Texas has some of the best course conditions with the friendliest staff. The golf is great. They have lighted driving range and practice area. While it feels like a country club, it's not a private club. It's open to the public, so bring the family into the Tin Cup Bar, the nicest sit-down restaurant in that area of San Antonio, specializing in Texas food, wine, and spirits. For golf or dinner, go to the Golf Club of Texas off Highway 90, online at golfclubtexas.com. The Golf Club of Texas, the friendliest golf course in Texas. Dog parents are loving Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend Premium Dog Food. The way she acts and the way she moves, it's just so much better. And she actually, she's like a puppy again. It's unbelievable. Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend is a freeze-dried raw food made with zero artificial preservatives. So it's naturally shelf-stable with no mess, freezer, or fridge required. Plus, it's full of premium turkey, beef, salmon, and meat your dog will love. We started with Nature's Blend. She's happy. She sleeps well. She's energetic. I am just delighted with this product. When given the choice, Nature's Blend and Amazon's number one bestseller in dry dog food, 29 out of 30 dogs chose Nature's Blend first. I am so confident your dog will love it. Your order is backed with a 90-day guarantee. Save up to 54% off Nature's Blend and get a free bag of delicious beef liver treats. Go to drmartypets.com slash good or text good to 511-511. Text good to 511-511. All pets are unique. Your pets results can and will vary. Message and data rates may apply. Studies available upon request. Pork rinds pack a protein punch and are the boldest low-carb snacks out there. Skip the chip and try Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds for that ultimate crunch. And with flavors that will have you craving for more, the time to stock up on Southern Recipe at HEB is now. Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Be big, be bold, be adventurous. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a alawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyerforus.com. Progressive presents good news, bad news, dumb news, then great news. Good news. Your coworker Kyle said bundling home and auto insurance with Progressive could save you money. Bad news. While saying this, Kyle was eating your clearly labeled lunch. Dumb news. Pizza near work costs $7 a slice, and it tastes like drywall covered in ketchup. Great news. You decide to see if you could save money bundling at Progressive.com and enjoy more lunches far away from Kyle. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she just launched her new side gig 
a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. Good morning, everybody. Joe Reinagle here from the Blitz. Coming up at 2 o'clock, we are back at Circa Las Vegas. One more live broadcast from Stadium Swim. It is glorious. We'll react to what happened in the Sweet 16 round last night. Plus, the Spurs back home and back in action tonight, taking on the New York Knicks. And there might be a story or two as well from last night in Vegas. Hey, Rob, I put $50 on red for you. You lost. Live! want my money back the morning huddle here on san antonio sports star the uh, blitz crew is at the circa things are going well it appears <laughs> yeah yeah have fun listening yesterday um the place is popping i hope they found some of the money i left there the last time i was at the circa but uh they will be there all weekend long still time to go john uh, i might want to jump on uh that circa website and uh use minix 20 if there's room left but it's sweet 16 period Maddox is going to be throwing pitches today. But it would be a great weekend to be in Vegas. I, I've spent a, 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 a Final Four weekend in Vegas. It, it, it gets pretty popping, pretty busy. What's your plans for the Easter weekend? Have you hidden all your eggs? Have you uh, uh, filled your basket with that fake green grass? Uh, have not done that yet, but definitely, definitely will be um, for the boy. And, uh, you know, I, I know. Brisket is kind of the thing, but I'm thinking about smoking some salmon and lobster tails on Sunday. Uh, nothing wrong with that. That's a little surf sounds, and surf. Yeah, so thinking about surfing all over the place. I really want to watch a movie. That's what I really want to do this weekend. There's no time, you know, man. It's basketball. There is literally well, I, no time. Uh, well, I, I, I I'm with this, you. I know you're too primitive for this, but I have several monitors. You know what I mean? Like I can have you a can't game watch a on. basketball game and a movie at the same time that you that you. I do that about. all the time. That's that's baseball season when they're when the Astros are playing every night that, you know, they're on the iPad. That's what I'm saying. Like, I really want to watch a movie. Well, it what, certainly what couldn't be you, subtitled then. S- sell me on this stupid Apple farm thing or whatever. Uh, no, I, you know what? I wouldn't go that route. I wouldn't do the Apple oh. Falls thing. Now, nah, the end was, I, yeah, I mean, it was kind of preaching. Wow. Yesterday but, you were going to die for this show. Well, there was a, 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 su- a surprise twist that really kind of took me for a loop. Um, but the ending kind of, it's typical of these streaming services, great premise, pretty decent uh, attempt at a premise, but the ending just always leaves. It's like they ran out of money. So cut, let's finish the movie. And that's kind of how this felt. Um, the one I'm watching now, three body problem, dude, it's like, I need to take notes. Um, it's crazy, but it's basketball week and there's nothing other than that for me. And other than that, but real quickly, did you hear the USA team USA is going to invite Caitlin Clark uh, to their uh, their party? We could I did be, not. we what, could be party to the, the tryouts to be on the team USA, which she obviously should be uh, with all the pros. Uh, we could be headed toward the first and uh, a, a truly remarkable kind of dream team headed to Paris. The ladies were. Well. As right we, we age out some of the others, like we did back, way back when, some of the older types, like Larry Bird with a cane that we took to Barcelona and uh, young Michael and Charles and all those guys. It looks, this feels very dream team ish, although there's really nobody to go beat. But if Caitlin's well, there and, and we can send, uh, maybe we send Plum out on a, you know, by your, you know, as we, as we wave goodbye to that and all the greats, this could be spectacular. But that's, to, that's down the road. We get her tomorrow. Uh, two o'clock. Taking on the taking on Colorado tonight. Uh, what, hmm? I was going to say, what is the sporting event, the game you're most excited to watch this week? Well, tonight it's the North Carolina State game, just because they're the lowest ranked team, and DJ Burns the third is going to be playing, and that's my favorite guy in the tournament. I have a uh, prediction for this tournament that involves them that I'll save for later. I'll just leave it at that. Who the North Carolina State? Are they going to make a run like Valvano did back in that? 83 i'm not i'm not going to spoil my prediction yet. you're not going to get it out of me 
Hey, coming up, the 8 o'clock hour, we'll look at uh, what we saw last night. Upsets everywhere. How are your brackets? But that was just the hors d'oeuvre to the big meal tonight. We'll look forward to all the games you can catch right here on San Antonio Sports Star. Opening day came and went. No new Otani news. And who's the best team in the state of Texas over the last 30 years? Answer won't surprise you at number one. Number two probably will. Hang around. This is the Morning Huddle. He's RJ. I'm Rob. And we are active. KTFM Floorsville. This is 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Your home for the Aggies. Easter means all kinds of things, all kinds of people. To small children, it means a basket, a chocolate rabbit, and a handful of jelly beans. It means looking for colored eggs in the high grass and among the trees. For others, it means a holiday and family gatherings for a meal on a Sunday afternoon. The funny thing about Easter is that it began with a man who had been dead for three days coming back to life. He didn't just hit death and then bounce back into this kind of life. He hit death, pushed through it to the other side to experience what the Bible calls resurrection. It means that death does not have the last and final word. The resurrection, in a sense, puts us on a mountain and allows us to see things that are breathtakingly true but had not been seen until that moment. This is Mark Absher, the MacArthur Park Church of Christ, inviting you to join us on Easter, March 27th at 10.30 a.m. as we remember and celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Our church is located east of the airport on Loop 410 at the Starcrest exit. You can visit us online at MacArthurChurch.org. The MacArthur Park Church of Christ, connecting God and people. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T-levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210 615 that's 210-615-7777 or visit revivemenshealth.com. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you'll owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-714-8422. 800-714-8422. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. San Antonio, get ready for Car Fest, April 5th through the 7th at the Freeman Expo Hall. Enjoy a car show, driver workshops, entertainment, plus the chance to win a free car. And the best part, admission is free. Learn more at CarFestSA.org. Gomez Law Firm has been taking care of the people of San Antonio for almost 50 years. The leader in personal injury law. Jose, tell us a little bit more about what you do. We do ride-sharing cases, 18-wheeler cases. Obviously, we've done those for very many years. Work injuries. We will be happy to take a look at and see if we can help. If you have been injured in an accident or hit by a company vehicle, then you need to visit JoeGomezLaw.com. We've been around for almost 50 years, and we're not going anywhere. Call the Gomez Law Firm at 736-4040. Hard work, dedication, and dreams. These are the keystones of success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. And getting your max refund guarantee definitely doesn't hurt. 
but let others think you did a lot of hard work to file your taxes when in reality, it was a walk in the park. No, no, you literally filed while walking your dog in the park. Winner! Because some key info is pre-filled for you, so you can file quickly and confidently like the boss that you are. So give yourself the peace of mind that comes with getting expert help because you're going places. Let's go. And make tax season feel like it's award season with easy filing. Yeah. Know that you're backed by the leading tax preparer, TurboTax, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. Feel accomplished and confident that your taxes are done right. File an Intuit Credit Karma today. Ah, yeah. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. 94.1 FM. San Antonio's Sports Center. Eight sixteen started last night with upsets everywhere. Club Clemson took down Arizona. Alabama took down North Carolina. Illinois beat Iowa State, the lone number one. Well, that was UConn. They went past San Diego tonight. We get it again. Games caught live right here on San Antonio Sports Star. Tip just after six o'clock. Sports Center is brought to you by Buyers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. BuyersBarricades.com. How good do you want to be? From play one to the last play, we fight. Today's about opportunity and character. We got a chance to come out here and play football. It's a blessing. Hey, every season is full of defining moments. Let's make this day a defining moment for us in our quest. Let's go, baby. This is the morning huddle on 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star with Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, RJ Ochoa. Now, here are the guys. Hey, gather around. We got a bunch to talk about. It is the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. RJ Ochoa, he manages the editing there at B to B. I'm Rob Thompson, your co host with the most just easy E, taking us the next couple hours. Thanks for jumping in with us. Uh, the Sweet 16 in full effect last night and things that had run chalk did not go so well last night. We'll look forward to the games in just a minute tonight. But last night, I think uh, the number one overall was proven to be correct in UConn. They are curb stomping just about everybody they face and seem to be getting better, not just by the game, but by the half. They look better in the second half than they did in the first. In the first half, they look better than the game before. So uh, UConn's a juggernaut. Illinois. Taking down Iowa State, RJ, that to me, the last game of the night was probably the most surprising game of the night. Yeah, especially because you were big on the Cyclones. I was. Um, Pretty Um, embarrassing. And down on the Big Ten. I didn't think this was a Big Ten year, and I certainly didn't think it was Illinois. But it turns out I was wrong. They got five. They got, well, they actually got about six guys, every one that can go get a bucket in one way or another. It's as good an offense as I've seen. Uh, in all of college uh, basketball this year. They're, if they go downhill, they're going to be tough to stop. They don't have a, a great post game. They've got, they've got a good front line game, but not a lot of post play. Maybe maybe Klingon can uh, do something. It's gonna, that's going to be one heck of a game over the weekend. Uh, Alabama, North Carolina busted a lot of brackets as well. The uh, North Carolina ride ended with uh, you know one of those – high-end, long-term point guards at North Carolina that they seem to always have, a fifth-year, you know, soon to go into the records for a lot of different little things, uh, point guard. It just fell apart for them last night. Alabama and uh, Coach Coach Clonch, UTSA, uh, soon-to-be head coach, going to be hanging around for another couple days. Coach, uh, we'll we'll get your furniture unpacked down here. You you, you take care of your business. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, I think you have to feel all the more conviction in the UTSA hire, just kind of seeing that it's weird the way things like this work. Um, so I'm, I'm certain that there are some San Antonio fans rooting for Alabama in that sense. And I think that they really benefited by the fact that Clemson was able to knock out Arizona. And I think that that was probably the biggest upset of the day might not be the right way to put it, but the biggest choke job of the day uh, came from the Wildcats. I mean, dude, come on. When, when You know, you had your chance. I mean, you had... It was Clemson, you know, like you, it, sometimes the tournament, you know, seating and, and, and just bracket in general works out against you and you just run into, you know, something unfortunate, somebody unfortunate, but Clemson, that was your undoing. And, and another thing is like, if you're, a, <laughs> I know that Arizona was not a one seed, 
but you got to make it through to the Elite Eight, man. You can't, you can't tell me you had a week's worth of prep on the Clemson. And it, it was not close. A- at least North Carolina, that game was back and forth, back and forth, you know, just kind of this, that, whatever. Arizona was never in it. I mean, I, I, I know the scoreboard looked a little bit more generous to them towards the end, but you cannot tell me that you were prepared for this game. Well, first of all, the, the, the defense that Clemson plays, let's give some love. That, that's, that's as beat down a hard defense as any team in the country plays. But they, they didn't have – they don't have offense. It's not like they're running past you. Arizona just looked like every Arizona team for the last 25 years. There's three NBA guys on that team. Caleb Love's going to play in the league now. I don't know how long, but he's got the talent to do so. And a couple of bigs that actually – Fought the Clemson's bigs as well as I could have hoped. That it just that team, that mentality, that jersey chokes. It just it's not even a good does. looking jersey. It, every everything about him is. You hate to see it. You really do. I mean, and you know, I had been so happy about the you know the the chalk. We wanted the big guys coming, and you know, Clemson's boring. That is a boring, good, tough out basketball team. But they remind me of anybody who's played basketball in the, in the state of Texas. You ever go up and play a game or a tournament in San Angelo, Big Spring, Amarillo, or Lubbock? They Those guys, those high schools up there just play it different. And, and it's a, just a hard-nosed, they're going to beat you up. You're going to not be able to play the way you want to play. The shots that you normally get ain't going to be there, and you're just going to have to gut out a win to beat Clemson. And that's what that team looked like, just big and raw bone. That big DJ kid, he can he's a beast. And what, what is uh, concerning to me is that style matches no matter who they play. Whoever's left, that style, they can stop them. Alabama, they... They come at you in waves, but there's not a superstar. They got a good point guard, but I think they can physical out Alabama and head themselves to uh to the final four. And you want to talk about broken brackets? No yeah. one, but no one, but Clemson parents had Clemson in the final four. Even then, there was that one Clemson dad that was like, "Guys, you know." But respect I'm, to I'm, Chase Hunter. <laughs> I, that's a that's a solid point guard. Uh, UConn, on the other hand, is becoming a good story. Um, but the best story of the of the the tournament will begin tonight as you get your pre stuff. The North Carolina State 11 seed, they're the lone Cinderella left, and they've got the best character in all of basketball, uh, college basketball. Third, uh, I think that tonight we get the uh, the fun of the upset, but we also get probably a little bit more talent, a few more uh, more appropriate uh, matchups, better matchups. It's, you know, fighters make fights. I think the night's going to be the, uh, a much better evening of, of basketball. Yeah. And, I mean, uh, the score, the games last night were fun and cute, but they weren't great. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they weren't. Like, and just because games are close doesn't mean they're great games. It just means they were close games, whether they were played greatly or poorly. So what's the best game? Oh my gosh! It, pick one, okay? Uh, you got the Houston Duke matchup that goes old blue blood, old blood, new blood, all the stuff you want to talk about. Best tandem of guards in all of the of the playoffs, right there in Houston, and a Duke that, team that is always chock full of you know seven pros. And Filipowski can play. Their point guards coming on to play. This could be a game that uh, Duke gets pants. Quite frankly, Gonzaga Purdue. Are you kidding me? Well, who's so I don't think either of us. I, I thought I was talking to Arizona up yesterday. Egg on my face. Huevo on my face. You were uh, you were over here. Iowa State. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. You got that egg, too. All right. I did. Who is who is the the favorite? We'll leave it that way today. That's in the most trouble. The the what, the team that could be in the most trouble. Uh, I think it's Houston. Like H- Houston is the one. I'll go. I'll say Houston's going to lose today. Well, it wouldn't shock because if if, if the if the, the the barometer is Iowa State, no, then it wouldn't be a shock. But I'll say this: there's a level of toughness that Houston's going to bring to the court that Duke, despite all the you know the talent and the stars and all the stuff, 
this is a roughneck Houston team that is going to go at Duke like they don't normally get it. And it, it's really going to come down to me, the refing. If, if the refing allows Houston to play the kind of defense that they were allowed to play in the Big 12, I, I think Duke's in trouble. But if they're if they call it tight and they and they force Houston like the AM did into their bench, which they don't have much, mm-hmm. then I do think Duke has a chance. But if they're allowed to go out and uh, you know, every every time down there's a foul, you can't call them all kind of game like Houston and Tubby like to play. Duke's in a lot of trouble. The Creighton Tennessee game. Think about where where Tennessee is right now. It Rick Barnes is in prime position to finally get where he's never been, and Mark Few is too. It, it, it's such a great great matchup of those echelon of coaches that could take the mantle as you know the Izzo's kind of walk away and Patino walks away and. Uh, well, uh, I think Calipar's just about done in Kentucky. He'll have one more run. And there's there's those guys that we've been watching for so long that can finally maybe take that next step. So mm-hmm. tonight, I think, as far as the game quality and the matchups, tonight was, it, it is the pro team, the segundo, the, 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 the prime part of the meal. Because last night was hors d'oeuvres. I didn't, there, I mean, it was UConn who has a lot of, you know, the most odds on favorite to win it all and everybody else yesterday. But tonight, I would offer it was, it was the appetizer at the restaurant that you really liked. You know, it, it wasn't just like general appetizers, but it was like, oh man, they have they have this great pepperoni bread. You know what I mean? Like we're gonna get that, and, and we like we, we know it's gonna be good. You know, it wasn't like, uh, who wants some calamari? You know what I mean? It wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't like a random you know pre meal food. So, and tonight's pepperoni bread. His name is Dalton Connect. <laughs> Do you like pepperoni bread? Uh, if, at every possible juncture. Who doesn't? I have a problem with anybody who says, no, I don't like pepperoni bread. Um, but I do think that Dalton Connect is that flavor, that pepperoni bread that some people might not necessarily like, an appropriate and an acquired taste. But one, as the Spurs, I, I made my views very well known yesterday. I think the Spurs need to go big. I'm looking at a Twin Towers kind of an a, a offense defense Silly. next year. I'm looking at something extraordinary that could be unique in the history of the league. Um but if you're not going to do that, because and remember, fortune favors the bold. Um, mm-hmm. That number three, four, five. Well, that number three, four, five pick might be appropriate for a guy like Connect who can shoot the lights out, and I want him to prove to me that he's worthy of that tonight. Wow, well, good. We'll it's going to be a full night. Much better tonight than all weekend long. Make sure you're staying with us at SA Sports Star. The updates when they happen, we got them. When news breaks, we fix it. Go to sasportstar.com. For all the deeds, I'm there right now. Um, I do want to give some love to our uh, current uh, leader. Do it, because I I have fallen off the first page. I'm I'm no longer. Oh, I've logged myself out. Uh, coming back, I want to make sure we give the love to the first places and the second places and all that have been placing in our tournament. No uh, million dollars, but certainly a hearty handshake and a firm uh, uh, pat on the back for the champion. Coming back uh, at eight thirty, RJ has done a really kind of interesting. A look at the state of Texas and the state of, of professional franchises in the state of Texas. This long drought by the Dallas Cowboys, where does it measure up with the rest of the big time sports teams in the, the state? I'll tell you what, uh, the best one over the last 25 years uh, plays close and they wear brown. Uh, coming back, let's look around the NFL. Uh, let's look at what the Cowboys are doing and what has been done around the rest of the league. Did Brian Kelly tell us where his quarterback's going to go? And we'll talk pro days as the league heads to the weekend. We head to the pro days. We'll talk about it next. It is the morning huddle and you are on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, it is day two in Las Vegas. We are back at it again at Circa Las Vegas. The Blitz starts at 2 o'clock. And, boy, what a fun time we've had. Absolutely. Of course, we'll get you ready for tonight's Sweet 16 games and talk about what we saw last night, baseball, and the stories from Vegas that we can share on the Blitz starting at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. 
public health is more than just health care. While a doctor treats individuals, public health looks at the health of a community. At Metro Health, we research the risk of illness and take action to stop the spread of infectious diseases. We introduce prevention and early detection activities that help individuals enjoy healthier lives. We protect against environmental health hazards. Metro Health collaborates with community partners to improve health outcomes because we are all public health. Celebrate National Public Health Week with us. Learn more at sa.gov forward slash health. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. Mow the distances back at your local Gravely dealer. Now through April 8th, you can save up to 25% with special financing available on America's most rugged mowers, including the ZTHD, the residential mower built to commercial standards. Visit your local Gravely dealer today when it's time for the march mania brackets the bus wide open as i was saying it's mad the mania of march at betus.com is all about those buzzer beat <laughs> bonus offers and when the madness starts and cinderella <laughs> man steps under the <laughs> bet us always has your back with <laughs> back to back to back 125 percent sign up bonuses on your first three deposits <laughs> and even 10 percent gambler's insurance <laughs> betus.com sportsbook and casino where the game <laughs> Join today, Bet US Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a lawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyerforus.com. Savings. Now that's speaking the Lowe's language. And with my Lowe's rewards, your savings just keep coming. Save money with member-only offers and earn points when you shop. More points equal more rewards just for you. Because Lowe's knows you earned it, literally. Learn more about our new loyalty program at Lowe's.com slash MyLowe'sRewards. Program subject to terms and conditions. Points are awarded on eligible purchases. See Lowe's.com slash terms for full details. Subject to change. I can't believe tax season is here already. But look at all this info I have to enter. Phil's small accounting firm is growing in numbers. Why didn't I take that typing class in high school? A data entry specialist could really help him in a crunch. I got blisters on my fingers. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Over the past decade, the Roof Hub has proven to be the best place to watch games with those three massive 170 inch screens and TVs all around. All the games, all the UFC fights, and when you show up at the Roof Hub, show up hungry. The food is fantastic. Open daily at 11. Great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night, and certainly the best place to watch a game. The Roo Pub is next to the Angry Elephant and in the same plaza as the Big Blind there at 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Roo. The Aggies play here. This is Andrew Monaco, and you're listening to 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Thanks, Andrew. This is San Antonio Sports Star here on 94.1. Going to be a busy weekend, and we'll have you covered for everything, both on 941 and uh, San Antonio's ESPN 1250. Tonight, uh, getting going at 6 o'clock, or 5 o'clock, excuse me, we will have uh, the tournament coverage for you, all that Westwood one can bring you. That'll be right here. Um, we'll have your Rangers coverage all weekend long as well. Tomorrow, as they take on the Cubs, you can catch the uh, game on our sister station starting at 530 uh, for all you Rangers fans and all the basketball uh, you can handle. Starting at um, 2 o'clock, we'll have the Division II National Championship 
And then at five o'clock, we will have the rest of the Elite Eight coverage uh, right here on San Antonio Sports Star because that is what we do right here. Uh, as we uh, head into the weekend, the NFL free agency period kind of lingers on. Todd Archer uh, of The Athletic wrote a column kind of explaining to the rest of the world what Dallas Cowboy fan and very specifically uh, the Morning Huddle fan has known that the Dak Prescott situation has is lingering on and continues to linger. Um, whether they decide to uh, restructure at the uh, just at the whim of the Cowboys, they can go ahead and do that. And without any uh, agreement from Dak, they can go ahead and do that. But it appears uh, by most that this is not going to happen anytime soon. They've uh, they've announced that it's kind of uh, just kind of fading into the distance. Um, RJ, uh, you're on record. We we know exactly where we are with the quarterback, uh, but there are other positions of need. And while we continue to focus on Dak and the long-term deal, it appears, you know, the running back situation, are we going to get it, – it just feels like Zeke is going to be a Cowboy here in the next three or four days. Did I see something else floating around yesterday with his name attached to it? Nothing yesterday. Okay. It's it's exhausting that well, this is a I, potential I know it's reality. exhausting, but I, I was having the conversation yesterday. Is it necessarily that bad of a thing? That a guy that comes back, that gets along with your quarterback, that by every measure was beloved in the locker room, that he played hurt and did everything he could, and does bring a skill set that was noticeably absent from the team last year. I mean, we we just look at it like, oh my gosh, you just it's just you're always taking the easy way out. Like this would be the easiest way out because you just went into your phone under contacts and running back and Zeke. Was this the first guy you that, saw and went, boom, I'm going to text him and bring him back. When the fact of the matter is, he wasn't awful with New England. He wasn't great. He didn't have a lot of, lot of opportunities on a bad football team. But when last Rob, we he saw had, him. He had 184 yards last year. Yeah, but he was, I mean, <laughs> New England had, had their had own long, El Huapos, his, and he was His put, longest run was 17 yards. Yes, but we know what that offense looked like. There were a thousand other problems. He wasn't the problem. He was just the recipient of problems that were there before he got there. I'm not going to blame him for that. Is he old? Yes. But I, when I when you compare him, you go, okay, let's let's take the names off of him. Let's do the – what's the big show now where you don't get to see the, the – Oh, the mass singer. The mass well, not mass singer, whatever it is. So we yeah. we have four running backs. We don't know who the heck they are. We just uh, see the body type and the style. And it, I would, I might choose Zeke over Dalvin or Dobbins or anybody else, just because I like what he does and he does fit a profile that the Cowboys need. But when they bring him back, if they bring him back, which I think they will, it'll be universal disgust because. Man, it's just the easiest damn thing. That's so typical of the Cowboys and Jerry. It will be. It will be the easiest thing in that it's it's just a mascot. That's all it is. It's just let's sign a dude people know. Let's sign a dude that you can convince yourself is great because you've heard of his name before. It's. But I don't think it's, it's absurd. That. It's absurd that this would Rob. He, they're already paying him. He's already on the books. That's how big of a joke this would be, that he's already on the books for 2024 and they would have to have him on the books twice over. That is so stupid. I mean, it's and and it's it's all done in the name of the most dependent position on the. That's the other thing. Forget the history. Forget the, the double you know book, you know, accounting. Forget all that. Any snap for Zeke is an inefficient snap at this point in time. It, it, that snap is better served with Rico Dada. That snap is better served at this point with Deuce Vaughn. That snap is better served with spin the wheel and pick whatever running back you want on day three. There's no way that you should be taking opportunities away from running backs who are way more explosive, who could be a way more tried and true legitimate part of your offense to hand them to Zeke. And if you are so pedantic to where you feel like, man, we really just got to hand Zeke the ball on the goal line because nobody else is capable of doing that. The Cowboys have this big old fullback, Hunter Lipke, that you can hand the ball to right there, and he can take care of things himself. If you are hell-bent on having a John Riggins-type dude on your team, you do not need to co-sign Zeke to be your Mike Tolbert or your Lorenzo Neal or your Moose Johnston. No, it's silly. Let go of it. Grow up. Uh, see, you... <laughs> This wouldn't be bad, but for we've already had him. 
if we hadn't had him and you hadn't been here before and we weren't paying him, would he be a bad signing? I don't think it would be as bad in your eyes. And just because they made a poor decision in the past doesn't mean it's not a good decision now. And I'm not saying he's a, he's the answer, but I, I think that for guys like you, and there's a lot of them, that no matter what they do now, you're not going to be happy. No matter what they do, because they've gone this far, so no matter what they do now, has to be wrong. Well, the meal is ruined, right? Like, this is, you know... Well, I mean... You went uh, out to, uh, no, you, you went out to eat, you know... We talk a lot about the Aggies, right? You ever been to College Station on a parents' weekend? You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's always that's a tough scene at, in College Station. Okay, but you get my point, right? Uh, like, I'm, you, yeah. you, you, you ever go on parents' weekend? He's, let's go to Chili's. Let's go to TGIS. Let's go to Fish Daddy's. Let's go to you know, whatever Wings and Rings. It's impossible. There's a there's a two hour wait everywhere. And you you got up from the the couch on your son's living room and said, "Let's go get some dinner at 7:30 p.m." It's 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 too late. You know what I mean? At this point, you you are not going to be able to have a sit down meal that you're going to enjoy. Well, I want to make hour. it even worse for you. What if we wake up and we come back on Monday and our brackets are busted and everybody's gone and it all sucks. And we find out that not only have the Cowboys made overtures, but I have signed Zeke. And then they went and got Connor Williams. Which is entirely likely or po- not likely, play but, this year, but we don't know that. We don't know that he can't play this year. It's highly doubtful that he's going to be able to play this year. <laughs> so, I mean, if if you're big, ta-da, you know, that, that's like you saying, guys, I found a restaurant. It's got a positive Yelp review. And you show up and it's just four walls and a, you know, a Bunsen burner. And they're like, well, here's the menu, Rob. What do you want to eat? It's, it's. It's already the damage is done here. I mean, from a free agency standpoint, there's nobody they can bring in that will justify their behavior that will fix this or whatever. But can we agree that there's a stink? Uh, if it was a, a Connor, another Connor, we've had several, but it was a different Connor and the same guy, same injury, different guy. And you could get him for pennies on the dollar. Can he, uh, Connor ain't terrible. And you could get him for pennies and he might not be available at the beginning of the season, but at some point he might be a suitable replacement or, you know, come back and do what he did. But I think Cowboy fan would go, typical! Typical! You, that's all you it knew. It would be typical. Well, it right now, I'm looking at a list that of the available running backs out on free agency. Zeke is listed as the one that's left. That's the, at, at the highest, best rated. Now, I don't know who quantified and how the numbers went. So, it, it wouldn't be awful for any team to sign Zeke. He's the best one available. You could quibble as to timing, and you should have gotten somebody better. But given the situation, the time, right now I'm looking at a list that has Zeke above uh, <laughs> a variable who's that of uh, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, Boston Scott, uh, Damian Harris, Cam Akers, uh, uh, Gunlier, uh J.K. Dobbins, who's way ahead of Dobbins. So uh, he is... That's that speaks more to the market than it does what him coming well, they played in with the mean. market and got him for pennies on the dollar. See, I, I just even that's though we're already win. paying him, that, it is a that win. Isn't, that isn't that isn't some victory. That that isn't the hallmark of a good front office. I mean, well, that's if just you're them. acquiring talent at, for less than what the market should have paid them, I think that could be your a success. definition of what is all in and mine yeah. might not be the same thing. Connor Williams could be a long-term answer. He could. No. He could. No. He could. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying he will be. He would be. But it's a guy that's been nope. there, known. We know him. We know the character. We know all the stuff. Now, we were kind of happy to see him go. I won't be the first one to admit it. But um, I, I think Cowboy fan is willing to take another you know, shot just because they want to be the martyr and then expect sometimes, look, man, it's not a bad deal. Just because you made a mistake before and you went and, and tried to – fix today's problem with a, a previous mistake doesn't mean you didn't fix the problem. It's it's that's not a fix. <laughs> I mean, that's just, you know, what, what you're doing is suggesting like, you know, I lived in this apartment and I put like some serious holes, but I'm about to move out. And somebody once told me that if I put enough toothpaste there, nobody will notice. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's exactly that's, what I'm saying. You're you've the hit it on the head still there. 
because all this is a one year gig. This ain't. I'm not putting together long term. Connor's not. He, he might not even play this year. I don't know why you have this infatuation. I'm talking long term. I'm talking. You can go get a guy that you might not see this year, a center that is of merit that led the league in some categories last year. I saw him. Um, you can get him cheap, and no, he might not be available now. But if we're talking about a, a guy or a you know a franchise that's acquiring talent for the future, not about this this year. That would be a guy that I would consider. And I know that Cowboy fan would lose their minds. Oh, we cut him before, and now you're bringing him back hurt? No, it's just because it was a mistake or a decision made previously shouldn't affect the the. the it wasn't one. a mistake. It, it, it maybe then it wasn't, to... but maybe now it isn't. You know what I mean? Maybe now it wasn't a mistake to let him go, but it might be a mistake now not to go get it. It would definitely be a mistake to go out and get Connor Williams right now. I wish him well. But not on my football team. Well, it's something that the Cowboys don't traditionally do either. You have to be on the team and hurt to get the contract. If you're off the exactly. team and hurt, you don't get the money. But if you're on the team, long-term deal. You get the Jalen treatment. It's silly. Hey, coming back. Guess what? Spurs are playing again, and they could stack three. It hadn't happened at all this year, and this could be the chance. They welcome in the Knicks, who have won, what, eight of ten. They're awfully hot, but so are the Spurs. We'll look at how they're going to do it and what goes on this weekend with the man named Victor. Is he fading into the sunset, or is he chasing the uh, defensive player of the year and rookie of the year combo? We've never seen that from a rookie. We're talking about it next. This is the Morning Huddle, and you're on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Nothing beats March Madness. The pure sound of a swish. The rattle of a slam dunk. The fans on their feet for the big moments. And the action just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here. On 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. Do you want the most money for your used car and a hassle-free process? Give me the VIN. We'll beat your written CarMax offer or write you a check for 100 bucks. It's that simple. Give me the VIN is fast, easy, reliable, and pays top dollar for your car. It's that simple. Give me the VIN is A-plus rated by the BBB. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVIN.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVIN.com. So easy you can do it and you're on it. Are you ready to party with a purpose? Peace to the North Side is Thursday, April 18th at the beautiful Security Service Event Center. This elevated PSV event for foodies includes on-site cover parking, entertainment, unlimited tastings from over 30 premier restaurants, countless curated wines and craft beers, hosted by Brighton Center, presented by HEB. Purchase tickets at tasteofthenorthside.org. Proceeds benefit Brighton Center, the largest nonprofit in San Antonio, serving children with disabilities through pediatric therapy and education initiatives at edwin watts golf shops by worldwide golf there's something that binds us all the collective goal to transcend the ordinary introducing the all-new ping g730 and i530 irons the g730 irons are ping's longest and most forgiving irons while the i530s fit golfers who want more distance in a player's design and are engineered for higher launch and more visit us in store at edwin watts golf shops or online at worldwidegolf.com Get there. Planning for spring at Lowe's means big savings on outdoor power equipment. And Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Buy one select Ego string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56-volt battery free. That's up to a $299 value. Power through spring with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through 4-3 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. 
See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Hi, I'm Kamiko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location and we're hungry for more. With Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase. So your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for their participation. Cards issued by JPMorgan Chase Bank and a member FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20-volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20-volt max power stack battery two-pack free. A $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of Deck Plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. They've helped thousands of men since 2011 feel and perform better. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Gomez Law Firm has been taking care of the people of San Antonio for almost 50 years, the leader in personal injury law. Jose, tell us a little bit more about what you do. We do ride sharing cases, 18 wheeler cases. Obviously, we've done those for very many years. Work injuries. We will be happy to take a look at and see if we can help. If you have been injured in an accident or hit by a company vehicle, then you need to visit JoeGomezLaw.com. We've been around for almost 50 years and we're not going anywhere. Call the Gomez Law Firm at 736-4040. Live in concert in San Antonio. Frost Bank Center, October 21st. With special guests, Gojira. And Spirit Box. Corn. Get tickets this Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. For more, visit cornofficial.com. Good morning, everybody. Jason Minix here from the Blitz. Coming up today, we continue with our office being better than yours as we're live at Circa Las Vegas Stadium Swim. We'll react to what we saw last night in the Sweet 16. Talk about and get you ready for tonight's action as well baseball and stories from Vegas that we can actually share. Rob, RJ, you guys try to have a good weekend. Hey, it's the morning huddle. No, we're not in Vegas. I have a bit of FOMO, but you know, such is life. There at the Circa, I hope everybody who wanted to go went. If you still want to go, uh, there are some uh, hotel codes that we have. Uh, Minix 20 at the Circa hotel website you can go to sa sports start for the link you can get 20 percent off your room if you want to jet out today uh catch the end of the sweet 16 and all the uh elite eight that starts tomorrow maddox will be throwing pitches around today at there at the uh, circa the big pool jealous uh would you bet the spurs to win tonight uh, they can stack no. i would never do that ever what if you had a a, a bet at the beginning of the season, that at some point the Spurs will win three games in a row. I probably would have bet that. That's what I'm saying. Like if some, if you had made a bet, it's like um, I saw uh, a prize picks floating out around this week. By the way, use Rob's code Alamo. Get yourself uh, have some fun. A little, a little free money, was, a little um, free squala. It was a season long bet on Jordan Alvarez. So I stand again from this from a fantasy standpoint. But a season long bet over under or more or less. 0.5 stolen bases. So you're, you're literally just, you just need one stolen base all season long from Jordan Alvarez, who isn't exactly a, a base stealer, right? But <laughs> you look at, you look at something like that and you're like, how could I say no? You're just like, it's, he just needs one. You know what I'm saying? Like he's going to get on base a million times. And so that being said, if somebody had told you, Rob, at the beginning of the year, you can, for, you know, 20 jelly beans, stand to gain 5 million. All Spurs have to do is win three in a row once. How much would you be sweating right now? Um, sweating. It's not going to happen. 
Wow. Negative. You know, we watched the Rockets rip off one of that 10 or 11. Uh, the, the Knicks, as they come in, um, 8 to 10, three straight, hot. You know, the Spurs have never been, haven't been quantified as hot in several years. When we, I want to talk about how they how they can win though. Devin Vassell, I'm going to give you a quote. I'm going to figure out, and, okay. and you you tell me if this is Devin or Victor or Keldon. I'm just trying to be a leader out there on both ends of the floor. I just want to be that defensive anchor. I want to be somebody who is picking up and just being disruptive on the defensive and offensive side. Coach puts me in a great position to get downhill, to get to my spots and to pick them apart. If they're trapping me, I can hit the short roll or skip to whatever the pass is, and I've been knocking those shots down. Who said that? That's Devin. That's Devin. Yeah. Your, the giveaway was I've been hitting those shots or knocking them down, whatever. Right. Yeah. They've won three straight games. Devin has six games of 30. Um. I'm not sure that the, that was the best the Spurs have looked in a long time. I mean, it was Utah, and they've got their own way. But I do know that we look our best when Devin is leading us in scoring. Mm -hmm. Is that not going Wimby. to be a long-term problem? No, I think Wimby is you know a far better scorer and a bucket and all that, but the Spurs, as we sit right now, are a better team when Wimby isn't the leading scorer. And in two occurrences, one most recently isn't even on the court. I think the biggest thing that has to happen once this season is over and we, you know, we make a, a photo book out of it and, and put it on the shelf and, you know, never open it ever again. The biggest difference that has to be, obviously the roster has to be retooled and there needs to be another all-star. And I guess we got to draft your big man, but Wimby has to become an alpha. We've been saying that for a long time. That, that kind of quote, there should be no doubt that it comes from Wemby. The, the, the quote you read, and I'm, I don't right. mean to say or intimate that that's a problem, but there should be no doubt. If you, when, you at, when you read that quote, it's, oh, that's Wemby. That's, what, that's, that's Wemby talking. There should be zero doubt that it is Victor Wembanyama making that statement about the team. And I don't want to say he's too soft-spoken because I admire that quality about him. I think it's part of his humble nature, but he has to become a bigger voice. He has to become the lead dog in the entire locker room. Yes, to. The guards are going to be front and center with the Knicks because they do roll in with three that are scoring pretty consistently. Jalen Brunson, we know what he's been doing since he left the Mavericks. Jason Hart has turned into a bit of a triple-double machine, gets to the rack easily. Uh, 577 total rebounds, leads the league in guard uh, rebounding. And then Dante DiVincenzo, who just set a Knicks record shooting threes, is on a hot streak. Uh, the likes which that that you know he's never been on. So when we look at what the Knicks bring, it's not really playing into the strength of what the Spurs have. The Spurs are going to have to hit shots tonight. They're going to have to hit threes and a lot of them to keep up with this Knicks team who plays Thibodeau esque, you know, hard nosed defense, but they can be taken advantage of because they've run a lot of guard work. Three straight. It's 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 too much for the Spurs. I'm, it, it, if this were if this were Memphis, maybe we'd we'd get the party started. You know what I'm saying? But there's just no way. It it, it cannot happen. They cannot beat the Knicks tonight. Uh, you oh. know it. I know it. And no, is over. There's not another stretch. This is the only chance they're gonna have. The final chance, rather, they're gonna have all season long to win three games in a row. Well, they're not going to get that, and they probably won't get that again for an opportunity for quite some time as we head into a, a you know a playoff picture for the league that's kind of rounding into form. Um, we talk about the Knicks coming in; they're third in the East. They would probably be a six or a seven seed as we sit right now in the playoffs. Denver has fifty-one, uh, leads the West. Minnesota right behind them, along with OKC, both with forty wins. And then there's a bit of a drop, a five-game drop for the Clippers. Uh, then we got the uh, the Pelicans, and the Mavs are holding on to the last, you know, permanent already in the playoff spot in the play-in. Phoenix, Sacramento, the Lakers, and Golden State are, are separated by five games, but that looks like how it's going to play on. And then the team's looking in. Uh, the Rockets are kind of on a hot streak, despite the fact that they've won ten straight. Are still sitting on the outside looking in, though it's only a game behind Golden State. Um, Spurs with 17 wins, two wins behind, or um, 
Portland, who is it? The next to worst team in the West. As we sit now, favorite in the West? If you were betting right now, throwing on your... uh... Denver. I mean, (laughs) there's just no... It's Denver is... It's their world. No, but I mean, the only challenger is Boston. Right, like there's just no. It's this is this is a, a two team league right now. News coming out and of I, Minneapolis. Um, the owner uh, of the the uh, Timberwolves and the uh, uh, the ladies, the, the WNBA team, um, had sold the team to A Rod and his group. It appeared, and they had 90 days to come up with the cash and do everything that needs to be done to get the team. Well, that's changed uh, with the advent of Anthony Edwards and the improvement of the team. Current owners are like, no, nah, I think I'm good. I'm going to hold on. The value of the franchise has grown so much from even the time that I sold to the team. You couldn't come up with the money. You're going to have to rebid or I'm not going to sell. So uh, it it does show what one player can do in just a little bit of time is A-Rod and his crew are going to be sitting out. <laughs> they didn't get the team and they thought they had gotten it. I remember reading the headline that A-Rod had taken over the team. Not going to happen. If you can get in on a team ownership in, I mean, I don't, I don't know a lot about NHL franchise worth, but if you can get it in on an NFL team, an NBA team, even an MLB team, those businesses just kind of take care of themselves. You're just printing money at that point in time. So a rod will be all right. As we head closer and closer, I'm reading a Nick Lowe piece on the way that the, uh, the, the West has shaken out. The Lakers are in a unique position right now because they can get to the playoffs and hold a pretty good place, but they're going to have to play a LeBron a lot more minutes. Or they can rest on their laurels and hope that the likes of the seconds, uh, the, the the Reeves and the D'Angelo's can get them there. Uh, I, I don't know which way I would go, but I think you're going to have to put some miles on those LeBron tires because without them, I don't think they have a chance and they cannot afford not making it to the playoffs. This is the, This is it. I'm fascinated by like the the top of the NBA is so boring. You know what I mean? Like it's it's Denver, it's Boston. Maybe Minnesota sneaks in. I don't know. Maybe Milwaukee finds a way. But the bottom is where the drama is going to be, and the bottom is where franchises are going to change, right? Like if we're we're watching the slow, sputtery end of the Warriors dynasty, and it's all ugly and gross and sad, and every Warriors fan is just kind of annoyed at this point in time, and I don't think anybody has any um, kind of you know, pity on them. You know, if you have a dynastic run, you'll be all right. This is, nobody feels bad for Patriots fans these days, but the Lakers too. I mean, it, it feels it's, we've had this conversation a million times, but we have no idea what LeBron's going to do in the off season, right? Like you coming to San Antonio, you're going to who knows where, where's Bronny going. I mean, those are, those are realities that are going to be created over the course of the next few weeks. I'll tell you, they look good. I wouldn't take my foot off the gas. The Lakers are playing as good a basketball as they've played all season long. And it's been primarily because LeBron's been pushing it and AD's been playing well. They're nine games over 500 for the first time all season long and playing well enough to where they can even ask the question, should we continue to play? Because I think even a week ago, they felt like LeBron had to be in, uh, regardless of where they're going. Watching the Phoenix Suns who just passed through, uh, the Spurs dispatched them and played well in two games against them, even though one went down. Um, and then Phoenix went up to Denver and dispatched them quickly. I mean, I think Denver had taken uh, kind of taken a night off. But when you look at the Lakers, Phoenix, and the, and the Clippers, these old dog teams, their way and get themselves. You think the Lakers are the most likely, or is Phoenix going to finally find their way behind behind Devin and a uh, a uh, Bradley Beal offense that you know he's still not quite in there. But they've got to get it done this year. They don't t- talking about no time. Everybody on that team's getting older, and it's even more expensive than what the Lakers have. So I'm curious to kind of look at things. Um, the title odds most favor the Celtics. They're plus 200. The Nuggets plus 310. These are all a courtesy of DraftKings. The Bucks plus 700. And who do you think? The, the next team is a Western Conference team. So it's Celtics, Nuggets, Bucks. Who's next? Does it mind. only I mean, we're talking league wide, league wide Minnesota, the Clippers, they're plus seven hundred. So you got Celtics at plus two hundred to win it all. Nuggets plus three ten, Bucks plus seven hundred. The Clippers also plus seven hundred. Um, Minnesota. I don't believe. Where does Minnesota? Minnesota land is 
Minnesota is a little bit further down. So next we have Phoenix and Oklahoma City, both at plus 2,200. A big gap in odds. And then the Mavs at plus 2,800. And so are the, the T Wolves at plus 2,800. What impressed me about w- what Minnesota has done when they lost Carl Anthony Towns, you know, I told everybody the worst thing that could have happened to the big cat is to get hurt because I don't think they're going to miss him. They're seven and three mm-hmm. since he's gone. Uh, their defense has not gotten any worse at all. Number one, all season long. Uh, Rudy Gobert continues to play well. Nas Reed has sat in for Carl Anthony, and they don't miss him hardly at all. And Anthony Edwards has taken a, um, a step forward in his passing game. We know what he can do offensively. He's a, a Jordan with muscles. But uh, the Minnesota team, that's a team that, as we get closer and closer to this, feels like, remember Memphis a couple years back? Made that big run, made it to the just about the finals before the Lakers uh, dispatched them. This is, I think Minnesota's that team this year. I think it's Phoenix. That's what I, I wanted to see the odds. If I had to throw, you know, a lotto ticket out there, it would be on the Suns. I mean, because I know that they lost to the Spurs, obviously, on Monday. But last Saturday, it wasn't just that the Spurs were horrible. The Suns were on fire. I mean, this, they shot like 60% from the field. Like, the Suns had a night. And when they are on, I mean, it's really just KD and Devin Booker. But when they're, they are they cook when they are on. So I, I believe in them catching, you know, lightning in a bottle more than I do Oklahoma City, more than I even do Minnesota. And they obviously have the, you know, they have KD. When, when you have, there are like three dudes on earth that when you have, I'm still not willing to count you out, even at this moment in time. You have Steph, LeBron, KD. I'm not going to bury you but, and, until you're eliminated. I'm, I refuse. In the East, we saw, you know, it, it, it is Boston and everybody else. Milwaukee's been treading water and kind of slowly improving with Doc taking over the helm. But with Chris Middleton's return, I think we're going to start to see the Milwaukee team that we've been expecting to see for a while. It, it allows them to put Jake Crowder where he belongs. Uh, and Malik Beasley's been doing a good job, but Middleton's really the guy there, and things flow better when he's out there. Um, it, it'll be interesting to see how quickly they get themselves – kind of moving at that pace and getting Dame Lillard uh, moving at the same token. Uh, in, in the next hour as we come through, that was a very strange situation that I did not expect. I, I'm using an iPad, and I got a random call on a pad that should have no number. Okay. I uh, Should I get it? Yeah. Should I, should I answer it? Uh, yeah. I, uh, hello. Hello. Uh, you're on air uh, here on San Antonio Sports Star. You've dialed the wrong number. Uh, you've you've dialed the right one at 94.1 is in the next hour. Do I? I still have tickets to give away, don't I? Yep. I've got ca- Kong versus uh, corn tickets. Oh, corn. The first person chose uh, Godzilla. Oh, the Godzilla ones were gone. So we still have corn tickets to give away on the other side. Is that a promise or a threat? <laughs> well, I thought you kind of wince when I said it. Do you, can you name a single corn song? Coming undone with it. Seriously? Did you just yeah. did you just pull one out? Yeah. All right. All right. No, that's not. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, what's the one they did with. Um, You're with asking Park. the wrong guy. I, I'm not. I don't have the appropriate answer. They have that. the. Um, I, I could have sworn they have that Lincoln Park song with them. When was the last time you decorated an egg? Do you have a family tradition? Is there a, a, a chocolate bunny uh, waiting for you to eat? And when you get that chocolate bunny. Um, what part do you eat first? Are you an ears. ear guy? Got to go ears first. No, not a nose guy. No. How would you eat the nose first? Like you would eat the ears, just another edge. It's not an edge. This is just another in a world where the, the the nose is th- like a third. Saying you got the ears pointing up and the nose pointing sideways. Sometimes the nose better. Is, is better your funny Pinocchio? It is could be. Like it, a... d- it depends on the type of chocolate that you're chasing. Have you gotten your beloved an Easter basket? Is it something that you exchange? Um, no. Do you exchange? Yes, we do. We, we, uh, my, it is tradition in the Thompson family household that we all get Easter baskets and the men of the Thompson family, uh, we get underwear. Hey, it's well, a, it's a strange a tradition, but it's ours. We own yeah. it. it. It is ours. Uh, I'm expecting a, a, a fresh, a couple of pairs. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm glad that you are. <laughs> have you taken pictures? Oh, you have. I've seen, uh, uh, young Ochoa standing with a bunny, which is a horrifying thing that needs to go away. Don't take Easter pictures with a bunny. Well, you're going to live to regret it. They're never happy, and you never put them out. Wow. I'm just saying, uh, in the grand scheme of pictures, you got the Christmas one with the fam, and you'll have, uh, you, then you just got the blue bonnet ones. The Easter one, no. 
It's always terrifying. It's just great. And the, the bunnies hate, look the weird. The hate that the bunny... You're talking about eating a bunny, his ear and his nose. I'm just and saying. Then you, and then you cared so little about the bunny that you moved on to your underwear. And well, I'm just saying that, we all have our Easter bunny. traditions. And uh, ours is the giving of underwear. gifts. The newer ones were taking pictures with bunnies. That wasn't a thing when we were young. And the ones that you do see, they're terrifying. There's I nothing... think the Easter bunny is fine to take pictures well, with. Uh, well, uh, did, did are Roel... You, um, I'd are not. you aware of uh, how parents now... We'll, we'll set up like like feet or paw prints from the bunny you know what i mean to make it look like the bunny showed up oh, like in your house you got little feet yeah prints. they sell those and they also sell uh, around christmas they sell like kits to do like santa's boots you know what i'm saying and they, they sell you know little mm -hmm. material that you can stomp a boot in and you know place around this and that whatever they do it with the easter bunny too i have a uh, pretty consistent cat prints on my car i think those are real though what do you what do you name it uh, well i'm, I'm it? just saying would you would you I, I, the, I was already kind of annoyed by your attitude about easter now i'm completely annoyed there are people that are putting wow. fake rubber tracks that show that the easter bunny arrived the, the people and people that presents. are going to, to some t tall measures to make their children happy that's bothering you oh yes it is as a gen <laughs> xer nobody ever did that for us our parents weren't <laughs> okay. making little rabbit tracks into the house that if there were we had to get a trap to kill it wow so you're just mad that people are happy, basically, is what you're saying. I'm just saying that sometimes you go a little bit too far for your over overly incentivized kids. If you're making rabbit tracks into the house, did they do Santa too? I guess you have to do Santa if you're going to do both. Yeah. I mean, th uh, they do it for everything. I'm going to confine my anger to this segment and uh, start anew. It is uh, just about done this week. We're going to look forward to a full sporting day, to day tomorrow. The ladies are in action. How'd your brackets do? We're looking at tonight's games. The Spurs are playing the Knicks. Look forward to week uh, to a game three victory, three in a row. Is it headed your direction? And will the Cowboys do anything over the weekend? Your calls and all the prizes. I got corn tickets, too. That's all coming next. Hang around with us. You're on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is time. The great uh, games are here. Go win some money. BetUS.com is waiting on you. They're my book, have been for years. I want to tell you why you should go join uh, with BetUS.com. I got a text from an old friend yesterday. Tell me who that is, that is because I want to play some uh, baseball futures. Go right now and play with their money. On your first three deposits, BetUS.com will match up to 125%. I have not seen that in the industry before, and I've been with BetUS.com for years. They want you to come and play and play with them. And once you arrive at BetUS.com, there's really no reason to leave because they've got everything you're chasing. You're looking for live games. They got that. You're looking for in-game game betting. You got that. You're looking for the, all the teasers and all the props that are always fun to play. They've got it, of course. And then you add in the casino play, and then you add in the bonus if you're bringing crypto. Everything you need, all encompassed at one site at BetUS.com. Go ahead and call them right now. 1-800-MY-BET-US or go to BetUS.com. Make that first deposit. They're going to match it 125%. And you do it two more times, they're going to match it as well. They've got 10% betters insurance. Yes, they can take care of you there. We know things are volatile. You can protect yourself. At the end of the day, BetUS.com has been my book for so long because they do everything that I need. I trust them. They pay on time. The odds are great. The info is great. And the casinos are there. And they take care of my money. What are you waiting on? BetUS.com. It's where the game begins this is the morning huddle with robin rj okay, Kimber, morning six to ten ktfm floorsville and everywhere at sasportstar.com tired of hearing scary radio ads about the irs tax relief advocates is different tra is here to tell you that if you owe money to the irs whether it's five thousand or five hundred thousand we have a solution tra can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the irs with zero risk to you if we can't reduce your tax debt then you pay nothing we have a five-star rating on google and yelp and an a plus with a bbb end your tax nightmare today by visiting tra.com or call 800-583-6580 that's 800-583-6580 now, during Staples Print Big Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. 
See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4 6. Visit staples.com slash print for details. George gets justice. In life's most challenging moments, getting the right help matters most if you've been injured. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers. With a track record of success and a dedication to their clients, George gets justice. George Salinas Injury Lawyers is not just a law firm. They're your support system. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com. George gets justice. Getgeorge.com. Hard work and dreams lead to success, but easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. Make filing taxes a walk in the park because we'll pre-fill your info for you so you can file quickly and confidently. Winner! Get the peace of mind that comes with expert help. Let's go! Being powered by TurboTax means you're backed by the leading tax preparer, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. File your taxes on Intuit Credit Karma today. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Before you fire up that grill, make sure you get into Tri-County Meat Market. Hi, Jason Minnix here. Tri-County Meat Market has everything you need. If you're thinking steaks, you want some chicken, some poppers, beef ribs, pork ribs, brisket, picanha, tri-tip. They've got it all at Tri-County Meat Market. Take advantage of their pick five for 25. And Tri-County always offers a 10% discount for military and first responders. Tri-County Meat Market, two locations on Ralph Air Road and on Hebner or online at tricountymeat.com. Jason Minix here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick em is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. You've made your bracket. It's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the pick em game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your pick em entry. And all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big. Up to 100 times your money in a single night endless projections to choose from create your own experience so download the underdog fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com sign up with my promo code star and underdog will match your first deposit up to 100 plus you'll get a mystery special pick to use in your first pick of entry must be over 18 and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates terms apply concerned with your play call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org again promo code star at underdogfantasy.com No one does happy hour like Twin Peaks. Get to your local Twin Peaks Monday through Friday from 2 to 7 and score some sweet deals like dollar off all wine, liquor, and of course, cheap shots. Freezing cold, 29 degree cold beer. Of course, we expect that. And you need more? How about a snack? Twin Peaks has select apps for two, four, and six dollars. And you can always come back for the late night specials. And why would you even leave for the reverse happy hour? No one does happy hour quite like Twin Peaks. Eats, drinks, and oh, those scenic views. San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. March Madness continues. Sweet 16 began tonight, last night, and it was chock full of upsets. Only the favorite of UConn carried on. Everybody else went down. Clemson took down Arizona. Alabama lost to North Carolina and Illinois upset Iowa State. Will it continue? You'll listen live on 94.1 starting at 6. All the games right here on San Antonio Sports Star. Ram Benyama, three, two. Goes behind the back here. Oh, little sidestep and a jam by Ram Benyama. This is the morning huddle on 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star with Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blog and the Boys, RJ Ochoa. Now, here's Rob and RJ. Hey, gather around. There's a bunch to talk about. It is the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. He's RJ Ochoa charging into the weekend. I'm Rob Thompson, stumbling as always. An easy E driving all the way home uh, off this weekend. It's good to. It's a big holiday. A lot of people are off today. It's Good Friday. School's out. Normally we... uh, School's out for the summer. Not yet. Not quite. But we're almost there. Uh, It's feeling very spring-esque as we... uh, Big Easter weekend. Um, Got lots of basketball. Opening day yesterday. The the Rangers close it out. Walk off in the 10th. Uh, The Astros started strong. It it looked good. But the guy's name is Juan Soto. and, And yikes. 
Welcome to the Yankees. It looked good, but it wasn't good. Ultimately. No, it was not, though. Ultimately, I think. Uh, well, you know, I, I read that you know, while we d- we discount the Rangers as kind of a one-off in a, in a season that you know nobody made it to the playoffs that mattered, and when they did, they they stumbled. That they're a one-off. The Rangers offenses, the pitching can get healthy. Man, they they got bats one through seven anyway. It's um. It's an exciting time to be a baseball fan. Is it? Is it really? There's any. Yeah, I mean, both teams are really good. They're the last two World Series champions. What do you the think? The only about... time in the history of Texas that that two teams in the same sport have won titles in consecutive years. Well, Joe Espada mm. kind of stumbled last night. He's lost every game he's ever made. He is oh, he's over. He was he's the worst Astros manager of all time. He's never won a game. Nope loser you know he talked a lot about aggressive ball we'll see if that maintains yeah well they went down to the to the yankees and you know now the yankees are unbeatable and they are one and oh and aren't going to lose a game for the rest of the year uh the spurs coming home tonight taking on uh the uh n- 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 excuse me the new york knicks uh, jalen brunson and crew are as hot as fish grease as i've been heard uh to say the uh spurs are as hot as their fish grease has been in quite some time could stack three wins I do think that this is an opportunity to kind of put a cherry on top of what has been the best week the Spurs have had in a bit, because it's not, it hasn't been about Victor at all this week. Not at all. We have this week has been about the other dudes, primarily uh, Devin, who has now um, the 30 point thing is a common. He's got, he's gotten six 30 point games this year, uh, three since uh, the beginning of February and uh, was as hot as he has been all season long. And I tell you, I didn't want it to be this way. I thought the Spurs were going to be consistently. They needed to have Wimby to carry him to be as to look as good as they can. They're still not there yet. Uh, they are best when uh, Devin Vassell is indeed leading the team on offense and on defense and everywhere in between. They just seem to respond better, and I don't know why. It's because they're not a real team. You know what I mean? Like they're they're not a real team that's that's capable of of having a catalyst change everything and that's that's what normal superstars do is there, there's a catalytic you know sort of sequence chain reaction that that serves as the rising tide that lifts all boats but they're they're not that kind of team yet and i don't know that they've taken any steps towards becoming they, they did the hardest thing possible right like they got really 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 lucky and got the generational superstar on their team but what what work did they do around him nothing you know mm. they they they, they they did the the 10% thing that, that is very, very difficult, but there's still 90% work that has to happen. And the fact that they are where they are and we've seen the, the ball that we've seen proves that of that remaining 90%, they, they may have worked on five of it, seven of it. I mean, they, they have to outfit this roster and tailor it to Wemby's skill sets and his mm-hmm. advantages and, and help cover up where, where he may be a little bit weaker in his own game. You know, what the relationship that Wemby a- and... Devin are going to have are going to be recipients of the other's play. I mean, it's going to be one, two, two, one. The the one will benefit by the other as long as they kind of learn to play with each other. You look at the way that the other two of the of the four mainstays go. And I I've been really happy with the way that Wimby and Sohan have been playing together. And we saw Sohan hit a shot to win a game the other night. And I think that's going to be the key to the long-term success of those two. It's not going to be the rebounding, which is going to be key early with until we get another big down there. Because I think that's been the difference when the Spurs play well. It, it's not Sohan shooting. It's the threat of the shot. But it's his rebounding. And it's Wimby being second to Devin. And that that hierarchy is going to have to change. The Spurs could also use uh, start to use Sohan a little bit more uh, as that facilitating big. Uh, that actually I thought Zach had actually done a pretty good job with over the last couple of games. So the little salt and pepper that has improved the flavor of this meal, I think tonight could really kind of put to be put to rest and finish up what I thought was going to finish up with that big home stand. That we would finish with a bang. We kind of did at the end of the stand. We won a game on the road. Three straight to close the season down with five to go, I think might be enough to um well, no, it won't. It won't be enough for me to say these are the guys that I want, but I do think we could put to bed some of the problems that we're going to look forward to next year. And if we can close out with Jeremy being the guy, we can close out with Devin leading this team and Keldon just kind of coming along with the ride. 
Uh, maybe it'll answer a question or two before they even dra- the 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 uh, the offseason gets here and these high draft picks come to play because three straight wins against good teams. Not enough. I don't know that I would say Utah's a good team, but well, one of them is. We we want to beat two. Well, we, uh, of the three straight wins, Utah it, at home, it, I'll give them that. But Phoenix goes and beats Denver, and they're charging. And this is the the second hottest team in the West, in the East in New York coming to town. So. You know how people like to say that when you play a round of golf, you could be horrible, 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 and you have one great shot on eighteen. All I need, and that gets right. That gets you coming back. We need that shot. You, you know what I'm saying? Like we we haven't had like yeah we had we had a great chip back on twelve. You know what I mean? We we read a, a nice putt on fifteen, but like we we need that one smoked hybrid. You know what I'm saying? Just to we need to feel that feeling in our arms and watch the ball just take flight. As, as we go through our backs, you know what I'm saying? And this is that opportunity. And I don't want to be dramatic and say that they won't necessarily have that opportunity, but it won't feel the same, right? It, it, it won't. I mean, think about it. If they win this game tonight, they will have, they will go not quite an entire week, but they will go a, a full business week, right? Like with, with nothing but wins. It, it will be the first business week with nothing but wins all season long for the Spurs. The vibes will have been solid for as long as they have been at any point throughout the season. You, if you give us this, it in no way makes the season a success. It in no way suggests that, you know, these are the right guys. I love Zach Collins, but like you, you can't just fall in love with the moment. You know what I'm saying? You have to, you have to be willing to work on this roster in the off season. That being said though, you get this win tonight against the Knicks. That is the, you know, we're, we're, we're signing up for another round. The moment we get off of this hole in the clubhouse. Is the NCAA tournament a foregone conclusion? UConn seems to own it as they curb stop the uh, San Diego State Aztecs. As good as they are in the men, is it South Carolina's to win as well? The ladies are in their sweet 16. We'll look at that. When's Kalen playing? It does matter. And talk about your picks for tonight. Hold on tight. It's going to be a nice night of hoops. We'll get you ready for it next. This is 94.1, and you're on San Antonio Sports Talk. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, it is day two in Las Vegas. We are back at it again at Circa Las Vegas. The Blitz starts at 2 o'clock. And, boy, what a fun time we've had. Absolutely. Of course, we'll get you ready for tonight's Sweet 16 games and talk about what we saw last night, baseball, and the stories from Vegas that we can share on the Blitz starting at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. On 94.1, San Antonio Sports Star. Dog parents are loving Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend Premium Dog Food. The way she acts and the way she moves, it's just so much better. And she acts like she's like a puppy again. It's unbelievable. Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend is a freeze-dried raw food made with zero artificial preservatives. So it's naturally shelf-stable with no mess, freezer, or fridge required. Plus, it's full of premium turkey, beef, salmon, and meat your dog will love. We started with Nature's Blend. She's happy. She sleeps well. She's energetic. I am just delighted with this product. When given the choice, Nature's Blend and Amazon's number one bestseller in dry dog food, 29 out of 30 dogs chose Nature's Blend first. I am so confident your dog will love it. Your order is backed with a 90-day guarantee. Save up to 54% off Nature's Blend and get a free bag of delicious beef liver treats. Go to drmartypets.com slash good or text good to 511-511. Text good to 511-511. All pets are unique. Your pets results can and will vary. Message and data rates may apply. Studies available upon request. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to the UFL.com to buy your Brahmas to the UFL.com. Vamos Brahmas. Have you gotten your hands on Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds at HEB yet? Southern Recipe Small Batch offers big, bold flavors like hot honey, spicy dill, and sea salt and cracked black pepper. Bonus, you're going to love the low-carb, high-protein crunch. Turn snack time from ordinary to extraordinary with flavorful pork rinds. Pick up your favorite flavors of Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds at HEB today. 
The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you'll owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-714-8422. 800-714-8422. 800-714-8422. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Former pro football offensive tackle Mitch Schwartz knows for a guy, buying jewelry is a daunting task at most stores, but not if you go to Diamonds Direct. It's very simple and very easy process for a guy to go in there and not be overwhelmed. Mitch found Diamonds Direct and has been back many times buying jewelry for his wife, Brooke, and he's never felt any pressure. They're going to educate you about what you're looking for, what the diamonds are, how the process works. At Diamonds Direct, we respect both you and your budget. I think everyone's kind of searching for value you don't want to be taken advantage of, and Diamonds Direct is leading in that regard. You're going to feel really comfortable there. You're going to have a good time. You're going to find something that looks amazing and that you're going to get the best value for it. So if you're worried about getting sweaty palms when you walk into a jewelry store, relax. Take Mitch's advice and enjoy the experience at Diamonds Direct. We have definitely recommended Diamonds Direct to friends, to other teammates. Everyone else who has been through there has had as awesome an experience as we have. Diamonds Direct. Your love, our passion. Get directions, showroom hours, and more at DiamondsDirect.com. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. They've helped thousands of men since 2011 feel and perform better. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Flight by Yingling is the next generation of light beer. For those who don't follow trends, but craft them. Flight by Yingling is 12 ounces of uncompromised refreshment from America's oldest brewery. With only 2.6 grams of carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment, six generations in the making. Don't just raise a glass, raise the bar. Flight by Yingling, available wherever beer is sold. DG Yingling and Sun Incorporated, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Please enjoy responsibly. Hi, this is Joe Reinagel, and you're listening to the home of the Dallas Cowboys, 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. Thanks, Joe. Joe and Jason are live in Vegas. Probably waking up just about now. They're not awake yet. Who are we kidding? Uh, they'll be live and in charge and getting going at uh, 2 o'clock today from the pool side at the uh, – Circa uh, Hotel, Casino, and Fantastic Sportsbook as they've taken their talents to Las Vegas this weekend the celebrating Sweet 16 uh, opening day weekend and all things Vegas has to offer. And, you know, the sad thing is Jason and Joe really don't know how to do Vegas. They, they, you know, they just they just go there and they go, you know, just eat Krispy Kremes and fast food and go back to the rooms and, you know, read the Bible and do what they normally do. So uh, it's kind of a shame that the – this fantastic trip's being wasted on the two hermits that are Jason and Joe. I'm just saying. Hopefully, they'll find a way to power through. Um, I just, as we went to break, I, I got some sad news, and I don't know why it struck me so much. And I'm not. Louis Gossett Jr. passed away. Oh, no. Yeah, that's sad news. I, when I, he hasn't been quite as active as he was back in the day, but he, you know, wow. he, he played an alien that had a baby. He had a baby in a That's movie. Unfortunate news. He played a, a he played the uh, the drill instructor to Richard Gere in a in a maybe the best movie based on basic training of all things. I'm trying to uh, there's a there's a quote. I want your D O R. Uh, okay. Um, 
for those that remember the movie, which I can't quite place, I can see you IMD being it right as we speak. But that's sad news as Lewis Gos- Gossett Jr. passed away. I'm gonna have to go watch some of his movies this weekend. You're gonna have to find some time because yeah, I know there's a there's a there, lot of sports. There's a bunch. You don't have time for much. There's a bunch happening. Um. My brackets are shot, man. But the good news is so, everybody else's is too. So this is what's just, a, it occurred to me that somebody out there in your bracket, somebody in your office right now, picked Clemson to make the Elite Eight. There's right. somebody that's in, that in your, there might be, and that idiot picked Clemson. Didn't go to Clemson. Doesn't have anything orange or purple. Mm-hmm. This is this. That's why I like uh, the chalk tournaments because I, at the very least, you just pick your evens, you know, your favorites, and you're going to be running around with the, the 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 normal winners, the secretaries, the extras, the uh, the 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 ones that don't play that just kind of like in my family league. My wife is ahead of me today. Do you have um, because do she, you have any games today complete like set based off your own predictions? And if so, who do you have winning them of the four games today? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, did you get any of them right? The games that they, that they, as they stand. And if, if so, I, yeah, who I have do a, you have winning? I have a couple of perfect brackets uh, on, on this side of the docket. I'm, let me pull out my bracket in front of me. My hand so I'll give you time to, to so, figure it out. I, I correctly got Houston and Duke. Yeah, I have here. Houston and Duke. I also correctly got Purdue and Gonzaga. I do have Purdue That's and Gonzaga. So those, do you have either of the other two games correct? Today? Um, that would be. Let me get here. That would be. Did you the, have Creighton, Tennessee? I have Creighton and Tennessee. No, I do you not have the, Creighton and, and Tennessee. Okay. I, I did. And, uh, I had Oregon. Getting I had Creighton. Oregon over Tennessee in this game. So. Uh, yeah, I had Oregon, Tennessee, but I do have Tennessee winning. Um, I did so not then, have. Uh, uh, I had North Carolina State winning the first game. I did not have them winning anything after that. Uh, so I okay. didn't have them tonight either. So then we both are we're in the same boat. We both have Houston Duke and we both have Purdue Gonzaga. Mm-hmm. Who do you have winning these two games? I have Houston and uh, Purdue because I have Purdue in my championship game. So you went chalk. You, I did. You I went chalk the all the way through. Okay. I have Purdue winning. I have Purdue beating Gonzaga in my bracket, but I have Duke beating Houston tonight. It, it, given what we saw last night, you know, styles make fights, and they're very, they're two very different styles of team. You know, Duke is a precision, smooth, talented things when they're going good, go as good as anybody's. But Houston specializes in getting guys off their good and getting them average. And uh, much like uh, Iowa State did to them, maybe you can kind of smooth past them, but it, it's going to be tough. I, of all the during the tournament, the two player well, there's three players I'm going to remember from this tournament. Now we've there's a long time between here and there because there's there's a there's a couple of uh, one shining moments still to come. But as uh, so far, the three players that I'm going to remember are Jamal Shedd from Houston, who is just the, he looks like he's 25, 30 years old. He's just head and shoulders smarter and tougher than anybody else on the court. I I love his game. Zach Eady is just dominating. Just devastating. It's it's like uh, I everybody's gone to your name your childhood sport, whether it be um, I nine, whether you're playing parochial sports, whether it was your first eighth grade basketball game, when you walked into a gym and there was some dude that was twice the size of everybody in the gym that somehow just aged faster, and everybody, hey, let's see that birth right. certificate. It turned out real. That's Zach Eady. A triple double in the first half. It, it, it's just an unprecedented assault that he's bringing. And then the third, my favorite dude of the whole tournament, DJ Burns. Well, he's a lot of people's favorite dude. To be so fair, all but... three, we get them all tonight. So today's slate is amazing. There's there's no question about it. Today's slate is is going to be incredible, and the games actually get better. You realize it's from a, a an odd standpoint. So Marquette opens up seven and a half point favorites over North Carolina State, and that's, that's the biggest favorite of the day. Yeah, that's that's appropriate, right? And Purdue, they're only five and a half point favorites over Gonzaga. Yeah, I think we both would take them to cover. And Houston, only four and a half point favorites. We see Houston. you, Gary Murphy. I see you so in this bracket. I see you. 
getting a little tighter. And then finally, the nightcap, Tennessee Creighton. Tennessee, three and a half point favorites over Creighton. Uh, the the day is going to narrow as we move I, I, further. I'll tell further. you this. I think Tennessee needs to be worried, but the most worried uh, of all the teams, it's Purdue. Of all the teams that could get upset, and I, I have them in a championship game. I know you've picked them all, and as much as I think Zach Eady has been extraordinary, there's something about that Purdue team that they go through these little stretches of just – um. It, it it's gets stagnant, and that's those stagnant periods – when you're not a running team are hard to get out of, and you got to refocus and getting things back to that big who's now being triple teamed and you're not hitting shots. That's why Purdue hasn't been able to get past these rounds. They get stagnant and can't get that offense back of all the teams. Uh, Creighton could, could surprise a lot of people with really, it'll be the X's and O's of few getting around the behemoth that is Edie, but, this is a guy who can coach his ass off. And between he and Barnes, one of these guys is going to step themselves into that that super upper echelon of coaches that neither one has attained yet. That both belong and both, you know, get invited to sit at the same panels, but they don't get the best seats. They're on the edges of the table. Uh, one of these two guys is about to get to on the head table where they belong for quite some time. Shaka, on the on the uh, on, on the other hand, uh, could also get that chance. There's some coaches that are getting a chance to kind of join the ranks that are being vacated by, you know, as those that are retiring, the big names are, are as Bayheim and, and we've talked about Kay and all those other guys are stepping away. So there's other threads in play tonight too, that have some long-term ramifications. It's today's a big day. Needless to say, I mean, today there's a, there's a potential paradigm shift, especially as we teeter closer and closer towards a shakeup you know, from with a, from a conference standpoint, things like that. I mean, this is, you know, best mascot it, it may, left, best mascot and uniform left. Best, uh, best uniforms do. There's no question about it. Best mascot is probably the the boilermaker. Which which, which Duke uniform? The white. The uh, the, the they've white. got some several ones. They had that script the, one that they've the been white. running with. Classic the, white. The original Duke, Duke with the square off Duke letters. The Leitner Duke jersey. Classic white. I mean, every now and then when they wear, I'm pulling these up, when they wear some black ones, they look kind of cool. The black but and the, the dark blue, I, I I was always told that doesn't go together, but uh, it the seems blue, to work for the them. The blue jerseys, though, I'm not a fan of. They're, they're just a little too overwhelming. Like, when I think Duke, I think the white jersey with the blue script. I, I hate to say it because I do think the uniform's a curse, but that Arizona uniform that they had on last night, along with the UConn uniform that they've been wearing, over the last couple of games that are really legitimate 25 year throwbacks. I think look great. The Arizona uniform they had on last night was even a little long. The, the shorts almost, they were like the 11 inch in scene. They were the, the longer version from uh, the early two thousands, man, that, that's a, that's a clean uniform. Unfortunately it's cursed, but the best uniforms going for you. I, a close second, very close second. Gonzaga. For me, classic red and blue but, as well. But the navy, the Adam Morrison navy Gonzaga uniforms, man. But looking at these, and man, they're very close. They're very much like the Arizona ones. Man, Adam Morrison was drafted in. I forget about. I forgot about this. The year they changed the ball, and so like his profile picture with him holding the ball in the NBA is that weird one where the stripes are all weird. The classic story of time. Morrison lives on. You know, he was diabetic when had to take insulin during the game. Would have, would have insulin shots during the game. Um, and then the legend of him never showering while he was in Carolina kind of carries on. Hey, we're almost to the weekend. Uh, we'll get you ready for games tonight, the weekend, and ask you what you're doing. It is Easter. Are you hiding eggs? Is there money in those eggs? Is there prizes to be won? Let's look at Easter traditions in, in the best way, and what are you cooking? Uh, looking forward to a phenomenal week and stay with us. It'll be a lot more fun. We'll be right back. You're on 941 San Antonio Sports Star. You're running out of time to get your money in on the weekend's games. BetUS.com is the first place to start and the last place to go when you're looking for action because they want to take care of you for your new folks. If you're going to BetUS.com for the first time, your first three deposits will be matched up to 125% depending on what you deposit and how. What does that mean to you? That's free money three times. Use it. What are you waiting on? Give them a call right now. It's one 800 my 
MyBetUS or BetUS.com. Either way, get yourself signed up and play the games you want to play when you want to play them. Now, they've got the live action, of course, and they've got in-game action. They've got the teasers and the props. They've got futures, all you want to play, the, all the information you need to make the correct and proper play for you. And then you throw in the casino action. Then you throw in the betters insurance, 10%. Then you, you throw in the bonus for bringing crypto. Then you go, there is no better place to be. And let me tell you, I've been a BetUS co customer for a long time. I've been with them for years. In fact, this is the only book I have ever endorsed while I'm here on San Antonio Sports Star. Why? Because I trust them. They pay on time. All the things and reasons you want to stay. But it's all the promos and gifts they give me. They take care of their people. Find out what I know. Go to BetUS.com. Call them at 1-800-MY-BETUS. Take advantage of all you got, and then you can come thank me later. BetUS.com. It's where the game begins. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20 valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Joe Reinagle here. I want to tell you about something that has completely changed my life. I had vision correction surgery at Parkhurst New Vision. The results are amazing. The readers are a thing of the past. If you're like me and tired of those glasses, call Parkhurst New Vision at 210-585-2020. They offer a variety of services like vision correction surgery. So call Parkhurst New Vision, 210-585-2020, or get them online at sanantoniolasic.com. Okay, I know I can't be alone on this. Is anyone else behind on their Easter prep? Because it snuck up on me. Good thing I went to Kohl's. I found Sephora Beauty Finds for under 25 bucks. That'll be perfect for my girls' baskets. And I saved 40% on cute dresses for them, too. Then I got myself a stylish dress for 20% off, plus an extra 15% off. Oh, and I earned Kohl's cash. Kohl's saves the day again. Select styles. Some exclusions apply. Sephora and kids' Easter looks. Coupons do not apply. 15% offer ends March 30th. See store or Kohl's.com for details. Get the one and done you want for your dog's monthly protection. Next Guard Plus, a Foxal Honor Moxidectin and Pyrantal chewable tablets. Protects against fleas, ticks, heartworm disease, roundworms, and hookworms. All in one delicious beef flavored soft chew. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. Dogs should be tested for existing heartworm infection prior to starting a preventive. Ask your vet about Next Guard Plus chews. Hard work, dedication, and dreams. These are the keystones of success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. And getting your max refund guarantee definitely doesn't hurt. But let others think you did a lot of hard work to file your taxes when in reality, it was a walk in the park. No, no, you literally filed while walking your dog in the park. Winner! Because some key info is pre-filled for you, so you can file quickly and confidently like the boss that you are. So give yourself the peace of mind that comes with getting expert help because you're going places. Let's go. And make tax season feel like it's award season with easy filing. Yeah. You know that you're backed by the leading tax preparer, TurboTax, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. Feel accomplished and confident that your taxes are done right. File an Intuit Credit Karma today. Ah, yeah. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. 
Now, during Staples Print Big Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4 6. Visit staples.com slash print for details. San Antonio Sports Star. Action! You're riding with Robin RJ. This is the Morning Huddle. It's the Morning Huddle. Who wants to have some fun? You want to have some fun? We go see corn. That's the that's, that's the only reason I show up. Yeah. Have fun. Can you have fun and see corn at the same time? I know I could. Who can't? Who doesn't like corn? Well, you want to go? Get on your device and be caller number six. Six five six three seven seven six six five six ESP, and you'll hear this along with other hits. So they'll be bringing in Gojira Spirit Box, October the twenty first. The Frost Bake Center will be packed, rocking with corn. Headlining, oh number five. You'll see corn on us. That's another reason it pays to listen to San Antonio Sports. Five. I'm sorry, I said five. Cinco, cinco, cinco. Next Thursday and Friday, we'll be out at the Valero Texas Open. Come find us. One of the best times of the year as we round into spring. I saw where uh, Punk Satani Phil, you know who that is? No. The Punk Satani yeah, Phil is that little rodent that tells us about the uh, uh, whether it's six weeks of winter, whether it sees its shadow or not. Uh, mm-hmm. Just uh, had, had children. Sired a litter of uh, groundhogs. Punk Satani Papa. Yes, uh, so congratulations, Punxsutawney Phil. On the other uh, part of the the news of the weird and pets, there's a study in Hungary that I have just a study in Hungary? Hungary, like the country, okay. a Hungarian okay. university, probably a better way to put it than a study in Hungary, uh, was trying to figure out they were they were, they were mapping a dogs' brains, you know, like where when they think what what part of the brain lights up, and they were trying to figure out. When you, do dogs understand more than inflection? When you when you say the word ball, what does it mean to the dog? Do they picture the ball, or do they picture? Well, that was fun. Whenever I hear the word ball, maybe I should go get that round thing. They don't know it's a ball. That they know that that they know they associate the word with the experience. Yeah, the experience, not the, not the, actual... the actual item. Well, it turns okay. out by this Hungarian study. That the your dogs, in fact, do get it. That when you say the word ball, they picture the very ball that you're talking about. And when you say, go get your favorite toy, they know that ball is my favorite toy. I'm going to go get that. That there is some cognition above and beyond just experience and repetitive nature by your inflection or by what's going on. That they do actually, in some instances, get it. That makes me happy. I'm happy for dogs and happy for balls that well, they're all able to be together and, and well, associate themselves with one another. Well, then well, the, the problem with being able to quantify that is then we can truly now begin to quantify the truth, the, the, the dumb ones, because, you know, we can all mm. go, you know, I got a dumb dog. We all say that. But now there's going to be some kind of test and we're going to know Yeah, this one's just functionally illiterate and unable to do anything. So I'm going to have to. So, you know. Have, have you ever had like a truly stupid dog? No, my I dogs have. are geniuses. No, I've had, I've had, I've had, not that I, you know, but I've had some truly stupid dogs that, you know, well, they're, they're probably more lovable because the smart ones are the prob- the troublemakers. The smart ones are the runners. The smart ones are the ones that escape. The stupid ones are just, you know, kind of happy to be here. The, we'll just call, instead of calling them that, how about we call them the content with life ones? Well, you know the, what I'm saying? Like, they just, you know, life is great. The sun is shining. Well, it's another also, opportunity to go feel the wind on our face. Knowing that news, I do need to aspire to more with my animals. We need to train them better. Train them up. Yeah. You need to have that your dog be the one that, like, can go pull the towel on the fridge. You know what I'm saying? And, like, open the fridge and bring you something. 
So what is the day in the life of a, a editor of blogging the boys and tail on a Friday? Because we've got games coming up about, uh, I think first tips about six ten, uh, right? So you've got, uh, by my math, about eight hours or so, nine hours. If you were to fill it with a series or, or movie between now and then, you could park yourself and go watch or do something between now and then, what would it be? Because very rarely do we have this kind of gap on the beginning of something that's really going to carry us through Sunday about about eight o'clock is when the, everything will finally wind down. I think if you're looking for something to watch to burn some time, I would. I'm talking about you. What hit, would you go hit right now? I need to finish the most recent season of Drive to Survive, so that would be at the top of the list. I also need to finish the the Dynasty, the Patriots documentary series. That might be enough. I also, uh, you know. I started the crown. I'm one episode in, you know, <laughs> so I got a lot of crown uh, to get through. That's where I'm at. Okay. You, uh, you, that was you're, you're upset about yawn. this. Um, I thought you'd like, like, I'm going to watch Star Wars from beginning to end. I thought you'd throw Why out Why would I something... watch? You can't watch Star Wars from beginning to yes, end in eight hours. No, I guess that's right. You are, you a, are you five years old? Like, what do you, what do you well, think? Well, there's a couple things about what you said. Uh, th th this season has already begun. I don't know why you'd want to watch Drive, Drive to Survive when all it does is talk about last year. So. Uh, we already know but where that's everybody when it went. Come, it's not like it came out last year and I waited. It came out like a month ago. That was, it's, you're supposed to have watched it all before the first race there inside. So you're behind. Okay. Uh, and then there's... Have been, you seen it? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. You didn't watch the whole thing. I did. Fine. I legit watched the, the whole thing. So I... I don't believe you. That's, that's one thing. And what was the other thing you wanted to watch? Uh, the Dynasty on the Patriots. I, I, I have a question. I haven't watched it, and I will eventually. Is, is Belichick portrayed in a negative light? Why are his former players feeling the need to come and and, and rescue him or or protect him from what they're seeing? Yeah, so I haven't, um, you know, finished it. And I the, uh, the episodes I've seen, he's been moderately involved. But from what I've heard from podcasts and what I've read, uh, it is a very generous series to Robert Kraft. <laughs> and if there if there is a villain so to speak it is coach belichick so people are definitely bothered that he is uh maybe not necessarily being portrayed in the most prominent light it is uh craft the uh executive producer of of this documentary i don't know if he had a working title but i think he did and um it so therefore should come as no surprise that it's it's a slant that that works in his favor uh, what would you watch if you have wow, Joshua Jimenez Blue is Mountain Blue Mountain State. 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 What a throwback! Okay, last. What would you watch, Rob? If I, I, I think if I had a dead period where I could kind of steal some time that I didn't expect to have, I would listen to your advice. I, I'd go as best I could. Go watch um, the HBO special that a uh, series that I Succession, Succession. I, that I've been watch. I would if I could steal some time. Now, if I, if I had time to plan, it won't be that. But when I do eventually watch a series like that, it'll have to be, like, I think a lot of people, you wait for the perfect, like, there's nowhere to go, there's nothing to do, and nobody's going to bother me. I'm finally going to do this. And I, it, that's going to be the time that I finally get into it. And, you know, that's how I got into Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. I got there late. So, but I had the benefit of, I got to, I got to watch the whole thing. I never had to wait. Like the Sopranos well, or the Game of Thrones, where you'd wait years. I got to just zoom through, so I do have that going for me with Succession. Succession is over, and it's the anti Game of Thrones in that the final season is incredible. Every episode rocks in the final season. I'm I'm really mad that you haven't taken the time to go watch it because you I, would love it, and and it's not that long. It's only I think four seasons. So you, 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 it's not a massive time commitment that I'm asking you to make. It might happen today, though. Um, I've got to run by Tri-County to mm. pick up my stuff. Um, I want to remind everybody, if you go by Tri-County and spend enough money, they got a, a great rub that I picked up last week. Just a reminder. Um, I got for free just for, for, for hanging out. So that's another thing that's happened. What are you cooking this weekend? This weekend is all surf, doing salmon, lobster. So you've tails. decided it's going to be – when you do your salmon, do you smoke it, or is that something you put in the oven? Because I particularly I'm, appreciate a well-smoked piece of salmon on, on, a, on a stick burner. I'm going to smoke this thing. This thing's going to be like a yard and a half long. Oh, so I'm going to smoke it. Yeah, I'm going to do a big old piece of salmon. I'm going to do some tails. I might do some crab cakes if I'm feeling particularly fancy. You know, that's, 
That's how I'm feeling. That's how I'm, I'm wanting to rock this, this particular week. My brother, a, a, an a, attorney of a lawyer for uh, us, uh, well regarded, of course, um, just got day before yesterday, his first stick burn. And Whoa. as a fellow owner, and for those that are out there, what would be the recommendation for the first thing that he's going to, because he's going to cook today. And I, I gave him a recommendation. I don't know what you would, what would be the first thing for those of you that have one? So you got to cook this now. I mean, I, I, I think you got to contextualize it. It's the first thing. It's a, in that, no, it's your first effort. Knowing that your like, first it's, effort, it's not like, this is what's going to so exemplify the ease and the, the, you know, the technology involved. What makes the stick burner, the Traeger, the rec tech, the smoky, whatever one you have, what makes it, better than the old one what would you tell them this is why you got it well that's a different question first thing i would do you just do some burgers just just do some burgers, some burgers figure it out yeah just just do some burgers figure it out play because it's hard to mess up you know what i'm saying like figure it out play around with it Ooh, wow i didn't even have to do anything this is super good the moment after you have a couple of cooks under you and you feel a little comfortable kind of tinkering with things just a bit at that point you got to do some kind of chicken you don't have to go all the way and get a big bird but go get a chicken and just leave it in there for a few hours. That's that's the first, like, you've graduated yeah. thing. After you do a chicken, maybe you do a rack of ribs. Maybe you do, you know, I don't know, uh, two chickens, a couple of different birds. You do some different seasonings. But you got you to gotta start with something that you're, you're not, like, going to be able to taste some, something massively different in because you have to get used to it. I will. Uh, I, I told him ribs. Because at, at the Dude, end see, of the like, day, you can't like it's too early. Well, that's in the process, just well. The reason you, you want I told him to do ribs is because you it makes doing ribs so easy. Mm -hmm. So if the the re, I mean everything you just talked about, you can do on a gas, you can do on a charcoal, you can do on a Weber, you can do on an egg. Everything you just talked about the the, the, the chicken. But the one thing that I think separated the stick burner is do the ribs in the most basic way possible because it is your first cook do three two one three hours two hours one hour follow the wrap unwrap roll all that kind of stuff and find out that this it's cheating and anybody who's always worked a regular grill and you do it for the first time on a traeger you walk away going you mean i was doing all that work i had i mean i was hours and hours of temperature and coal and, and burn boxes and all this stuff and this thing was an app on my phone I think that, again, that's a great, you know, when you're ready to, to try riding the bike without the training wheels thing. And I'm not saying that your brother doesn't know how to cook in any way, shape, or form, but you got to do something simple at first. You got to do something just to feel like I cooked something that we all ate that was enjoyable. You can't, you're, you're asking him to dive in and, and you know, you just got to wait well, in a bit. Well, he's kind of point. an experienced, but I will say you're right. It, go easy first. And Rudolph on our brigade bar, are you going to go low and slow on the salmon? You can go uh, hot and fast. I'm going to go somewhere in between. It's not going to be ridiculously low and slow, but, I mean, it's going to be a casual cook. You're going to plank it? Uh, are you going to dress nah, it? Nah, I'm going sh straight on the rack. I don't need to, you know, mess with the plank. It's going to be, it's a big piece of salmon. I don't, you know. Do you put, uh, like, uh, maple syrup or brown sugar or anything like that weird on it? No, dude. That's, That's the right. whole point of eating salmon is eating healthy. Why would you ruin it with that? Well, there's nothing unhealthy about brown sugar. It's less healthy. Oh, what are you making? What do you make? You got a lot of thoughts for a lot of people. I've, I've talked about it. I, I'm going to go by as soon as I get off today. I'm heading by Tri County. Okay. I've got to pick up my pecania. I'm doing a pecania. Uh, I have a brand. I have a rotisserie that I got for Christmas that I have yet to put together. So I'm assuming I'm going to use this rotisserie. I, that's the plan. If not, I have skewers. But I'm going to do a pecania. We're doing a, a Brazilian Easter, uh, so we're going to have that. Uh, my my brother's gonna do a, a carrasco a churrasco kind of a flat meat over the grill. Uh, I'm gonna okay. smoke some uh, chicken legs and do a, a chimichurri that'll work with that and uh, the uh, other stuff. And uh, that's all I'm responsible for uh, as far as the sides. I don't know as we uh, what's, gather. And what's the thing about it, is I got to get this thing ready. Now, I, I've got a, a predicament because we're gonna try to eat early on Sunday because we got kids that are going back to college. Uh, so we got to get done by about noon or one. I got to put on a piece of meat, really, that it's one of those middling kind of meats. Anybody who's done a picanha or a, a tri-tip, it, it's not quite a brisket cook. It's not quite a pork loin or, 
a pork roast cook. It's right in the middle. I, and I've never, you mm. know, I know when I do ribs, it's going to take me, you know, six and a half hours. I know when I do a brisket by the weight and tell by the, I'm not a very good judge on the picanha speed. I'm thinking it's going to take me about two hours, but man, you make a mistake like that. You get it end up with some shoe leather with fat on it. I think if you are targeting, you know, noon, you got to get up a bit early. Well, it's going to be a 9 a.m. start. I know for a fact. Yeah. Like, you know, I would start at 8. Give yourself a little bit of room for air. What time do you eat on a, a, a on a uh, Sunday? I'm targeting like 2, 3 p.m., maybe 3, 4, you know, a little bit on an Easter Sunday, a nice chill Sunday afternoon. There's no reason to rush things. I want to enjoy all the sporting action. What about if, a communal you know what egg I mean? hunt? Like, is there a, a neighborhood or a communal egg hunt you're going to? There is a neighborhood communal egg hunt that is happening uh, at 11. So after church, we're going to go hunt some eggs and then come back. And maybe that's when I throw everything on. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I snack on a couple of pieces of candy while I'm throwing everything on the grill. See, I'll be going to church uh, sunrise. Or if I'm going to get everything done, I got to get I got to get in and out. So I got to take care of business early. You you got you're about to be working this weekend. Like then this is I, I this got sound, this we got people stressful. coming. I got the tree cleared. The tree's gone. Everything's uh right. we got the uh, we got uh, folks coming in. Uh, the pool is only slightly green, but I do have 48 hours. It got away from me. Sometimes you know you, you stumble and and uh, you look up and you, you, your pool's green. Life's not over because well, I'm not swimming, but it is. It's not a pretty situation. I got family. I don't coming. think anyone's swimming yet. We're we're not quite. I know it feels oh. springy, and I know we're we're kind of you know feeling the summer vibes just a little bit, but it's it's still a little too chilly to get in the water. I have neighbors that are in the pool. I can hear them. Well, would you jump in a pool? Right uh, not not the one, not mine, not currently. Right, no, there right. might be some kind of dread disease. No, it's still icy cold, and I don't have the money to heat. That's that. what That's I'm saying. Another. Warm pools are for people who never get out and with money, one or the other, and you can figure out why one is for the other i would not submit a poll i think the final week in april is when it, when you're safe it's still it's still a little who you know what i mean but like by that moment you're good to go we're not quite there well no it, it's time to swim we're, we're, it's spring is sprung I'm, I'm wearing white belts and white shoes it, 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 it's here and we have a, a fine i don't Easter think in front that of spring us. is the time that opens the, your window to do that though I, I actually don't think you're allowed to do that until memorial day Oh, I know. Well, then you're breaking the code of fashion. Yes. Th- I'm a you disruptor. can wear a white you can Joe can wear a white belt whenever he wants, but you can't wear a white belt until after Memorial Day. I, and I you have to stop wearing it at Labor Day. I'm a disruptor. That's what I do. That's what the morning <laughs> huddle has done all week long. If you missed anything that we have done this week, it is worthy of repeat. Go back to the audio vault. It's there at sasportstar.com. While you're there, upload any photos of what you're grilling this week. And who knows, next Thursday at 6 o'clock, Jason and Joe, after judging your meat, uh, will offer a $50 gift card. Send it your way uh, for winners, um, uh, for all those that have won in the past. Thanks for playing. We do want new winners, so uh, hold off on your entries. We were getting a couple of prize pigs, and I got some complaints. But I found out uh, some other guys need to win. So uh, if you haven't won before and you're feeling left out, hey, keep trying. Uh, the winners don't get to come back. So go to SA Sports Star. Upload that picture. Tell us what you cooked, and uh, a $50 gift card might be in, in the offing as well. Uh, make sure you're tuned in all weekend long. If you are a tourney fan, we've got all your games. If you're a Ranger fan and you hit 94-1 and it ain't there, go to San Antonio's ESPN 1250 there, 1250 AM. We'll have all your Rangers coverage because that's what we do. We cover you from front to back. The games will get started today. Uh, we're just the beginning of a full sporting day. The Blitz live from Circa. Uh, for day two of the expedition out to the beautiful expanse. They were having a good time yesterday. I cannot wait <laughs> to hear uh, the, uh, not so much the stories, because the good ones will all hear later when they come back, but the the tenor of their voice, because they are there. See, Joe and Jason are there, and they're also there with our sales director. And the, 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 the three of them out of the town I think it lend itself to some extraordinary stories, both in all three and telling them at the same time. Then I want to hear individually what will it really went down because yeah, I, it's she's not used to going out with the radio side of things. I mean, well, with the, with it, the talent side of things, it's a, uh, a rude awakening, certainly, uh, in all likelihood for her. And, uh, that's really all that is. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it sh- no one will ever be the same maybe is the best way to put it so the bet was how many teams do i need in uh if, if you get half of the elite eight 
Then on Monday, you're singing One Shining Moment. Well, on Monday, we will announce it. I got a whole production plan uh, headed our direction. RJ, you are running out of time. You have but one minute to impart the knowledge that you have gained these men on the planet. Tell us something. Adoyo rules. Bye. This is 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star, your home for the 